Are we good now? We good? Can you hear us? Hey! Welcome to D4, where I, Devin, and I, Dustin, co-DM a 5th edition Dungeons & Dragons game. Take two! We'll fix it in post. We'll be back. <laughs> 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 All right, quick reminders. Um, everyone that donates 5,000 bits gets signed artwork poster of the BFGs by Marquis Chansey. Uh, a D4 decal will... No. No? <laughs> this is way wrong. Uh, uh, essentials kit at 15,000 bits. Okay. And a pint glass at 25,000 bits. <laughs> we'll do it again later. <laughs> uh, session zeros will be released when we have accumulated a total of 25,000 bits overall. And we're pretty close um, to 200,000 as we speak. So we're getting closer and closer to releasing those session zeros. Yep. Hey. Remember to subscribe on twitch.tv slash rockpunchato. Remember to resubscribe if you're part of the Twitch Prime. Uh, and at 150 subscribers, we will be giving away the Dungeons and Dragons Adventures Outline Adult Coloring Book, illustrated by Todd James. Let's look at no. this one. Wow, that oh. one is awesome. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah I know. It's so like every time I'm like, it's so cool. From the animated Dungeons and Dragons cartoon. <laughs> so the, one of those will go away once we hit 150 subscribers. Remember to donate to our charity of choice, which is Extra Life. Um, for Children's Healthcare of Atlanta to give kids a chance of a life at adventure. For more information um, on our goals and rewards, can be found at d4extralife.com and check this week because you should see an update on that about how to build our upcoming Extra Life adventure for Game Hole Con characters. Please be kind. <laughs> or don't. No, don't be kind. <laughs> it's more fun that way. Um, do you like Wormwood stuff? A lot of gamers do. Well, D4 now has a discount code for you. Uh, you can get free shipping from Wormwood with the discount code letter D, number four. So that is discount D4. Yep. So get that and get some free shipping. That's awesome. <coughs> Did you enjoy our first live show at Southern Pride Gaming Expo? Well, now you can come see our second at Dragon Con. Happening yeah! August 29th through September 2nd. We'll have more details in the coming weeks, so please stay tuned for that. We are super excited as Dragon Con is our home con here in Atlanta and is close to a lot of our hearts, and we are so excited to be able to be playing live there. It's going to be awesome. Uh, we also want to say a very happy 60th birthday to Tom. Yeah, yeah. who is the owner of Rock Punch and uh, Atlanta Aww. Media Production. So happy birthday, Tom. Happy 60th. Happy Tom. Happy birthday, birthday, Tom. Uh, and, with, uh, and with that, we're going to go to a couple words from our sponsors. Is it me, Patrick Logan, with D&D Beyond? Uh, apparently so. Do you want to do it? <laughs> <laughs> you broke him. Is he okay? Does he need, does he need water? Is he all right? Don't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> you cut me deep. You cut me deep just now. Come here really. Everything you just heard is a lie. <laughs> lying. lying liar. Why must you fill this house yeah. with lies? Mm. All right. Oh, no, it's me. Um, <laughs> yeah. How, how do you like it? Um, <laughs> surprise. Um, I had to move this week, so I did not have time to write up a proper conclusion to the Water Ganassi story. We'll do that next week, I promise. Um, but, so my day will be short, uh, mainly because uh, we've got a lot to get to today. And also, but D&D Beyond um, wanted me to tell you they're going to be at Gen Con. And um, you can follow what they're doing. Use D&D &D Beyond. Obviously, the tutorials, everything like that is still live. But they're going to be at Gen Con. If you're going to be at Gen Con, check them out because they're really doing everything they can to make this the complete D&D &D experience. And I'm sure they'd love to hear from you. Feedback. Harsh criticisms. Maybe horrible, nonsensical stories you wrote. Love letters. Um, tell Tell, tell them about the pants. Tell them about Narcissus. Tell, yes. yes. tell them about all the crap I'm doing. Um, <laughs> with your help. With your help, we can make Narcissus' dreams a reality. <laughs> um, but yeah, they're going to be at Gen Con. Check them out if you're in the area. And uh, keep using D&D &D Beyond. And also, um, three spells. We know who's going to die. But we need three spells uh, from Narcissus in the final battle. So tweet those at me. Hello, is it me, Katie Downey? Is it Katie Downey? Middle Grip! Hi, how you doing? Um, I am here to tell you about the wonderful folks and items you can get through beetleandgrim.com. And uh, I strongly suggest you head over to their website and take a look at the products that they're currently offering. 
They've still got items for the uh, Dragon Heist campaign, which primarily has these wonderful tokens for the different factions in the city. You can currently purchase for a very limited time, because they're almost sold out, the uh, Sinister Silver Edition box for Ghosts of Salt Marsh, and you can pre-order the Platinum Edition Descent into Avernus. Uh, box, which will ship in October, and it's going to be chock full of ridiculous awesomeness. You can also get t-shirts and, and a whole bunch of other stuff. But they too will be at Gen Con, and you should totally swing by and say hi. I'm going to be stocking their booth. They're, they're probably going to be sick of me by the time the convention's over. Don't say that. So come by. <laughs> yeah, like they're not already. But come by and say hi and uh, be fabulous. All righty. Hello. It is I. Katie Adkins with Eldritch Foundry. So you, the DM, who made this really awesome character, villain, right? Big guy, a lot of specifics. You're really painting this picture. But what do you have for your board? Your younger sibling's little pony figure from their brony days. That's not intimidating. That's not going to get the point across. But you, the player, have this super cool character written, made up in your head, you know what they look like, no one else does outside of your words, so you want to give them a visual, but you don't have the artistic ability past this. <laughs> 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 so what do you do? What do you need? You need cool figures that are specific to your character's needs, and you can find them with Eldritch Foundry. Now, they make customizable miniature company who 3D print minis in insanely high quality. Their Kickstarter, which has already happened, sorry, written, pre-written stuff, reading, reading, pre-written stuff. I'm really good at this, you guys. I talk for a living. Did you know that? You're rocking it. So, <laughs> basically, they're designing their character creator based on styles of old school RPG game uh, character creators like Baldur's Gate, Planescape Tor uh, Torment, Skyrim, and more, which creates a fun immersive world building experience while you create your dream mini. Now, they are also working with a local game stores so that you can go in, create the character yourself then and there, and they will ship it to the store where you can pick it up. It's pretty flippin' cool. But that's not all, folks. Right now, there, you can use a discount code online, D4Stream, for $5 off your order, which you can currently, they're currently doing a pre-order on Backer Kit. So, how about that? Get in on that, yeah. Get in on that, because we're all sick of this. Because <laughs> <laughs> you told me shock <laughs> Um, if, if you love... Uh, what you see here, then you should definitely check out the folks that make it possible. Uh, Rock Punch are the guys that make all this possible, and they're awesome. They do a lot of great content themselves. I was watching them play Riven the other night. It was hilarious. I didn't even know Riven had all the things. It just go by and see the clip of them discovering a dentist chair sometime. It's magnificent. <laughs> it's fantastic. And they're awesome. So by all means, be sure to check out their Discord. You can talk to us. You can talk to them. Get to know us a little bit better. We'd love to see you there. So by all means, check them out at Rock Punch on YouTube or Rock Punch ATL on Twitch. And remember, subscribe. Yay. Yeah. Cool. And don't forget about all of our really cool merch, like the one you see on our three lovely people right here. Not exactly like this one because this was a con exclusive. Oh, but I think it'll be available oh. next week. Oh, but it will be available next week. They're super soft. They're they so are. comfortable. Just like every one of our shirts at d4dnd.com. Go look at it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Without further ado, let us immerse ourselves into the chronicles of D4. Bam! Guitar. <laughs> Oh God. <laughs> you know, I just, I keep. I gotta be tall. No, basically, I, uh, Ashley, when, uh, when I first started this community, and that's what I used, but I still had some Kickstarter fabric into it. Oh, yeah. So I actually started reading that, and I was like, that Kickstarter's over. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
It's that time. Yeah, Salazar's husk on the ground, remember? Dick. Okay, yeah. Hey, hey. we're back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taller now. That's we a surprise. We are so good at this. <laughs> <laughs> Episode, what, 28 now? 27. 27, that's what I said. <laughs> 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 Last time on Devastating Demolitions, after a decada of downtime, the group of BFGs found themselves before the beautifully reconstructed building they now call home, the newly renovated tavern, the Spirits of Trollstar. As they arrived, they were met by a, the flamboyant author known as Volo. He, Villam, Dio Miliana, and Seisha had a discussion about a variety of topics, including the resonant poltergeist of the tavern, Leap. While fascinated and thrilled at the idea of meeting the supernatural barkeep, Volo's exuberance and lack of courtesy towards Leaf left the latter uh, put out and feeling insulted. He got payback by moving a chair out from underneath the celebrity just as he was about to sit down, causing him to crash to the floor. The nice. girls explained to Volo that Leaf wasn't a thing but a person with thoughts and feelings. Volo finally seemed to grasp their point, went on to ask about other encounters the group had faced, and the conversations became pleasant once more. Harold and Voss made their rounds, meanwhile inviting their friends and neighbors to join the group for a soft opening. Their invitations were met with great excitement and delight. As they finish the rounds, they run into Petunia. She tells the pair of men that she has some come across some information about hags which would be beneficial to the adventurers. The trios decide to return back to the spirits of Trollstar. Vinley took the time to go meet with Fala, the elf who made her so uncomfortable as their appearance and demeanor reminded her so much of the family she had left behind. Vinley brought fruit to Fala, having recognized Vinley's distress in their presence, assured her that no offense was taken and they understood the elven woman more than she had expected. The pair spoke briefly and awkwardly about the soft opening before making plans for an outing the next day. Everyone returns, and Petunia went over the research discovery. She explained to the BFGs that when a young girl becomes uh, the process of being transformed into a hag, a portion of the youthful spirit is taken into the Feywild itself and put under guard. The process is believed to be reversible until her 13th birthday when the transformation is complete. The party was resolved to travel to the Feywild and search for Pixel's missing essence when Seisha suggests the first, they first go see Mama Uwe, the tiefling hedge witch who had provided them with spiritual guidance in the past. Gathering Kara, Pixel, and Jacqueline, uh, the group journeyed to the shop filled with strange objects, incense, and an otherworldly air. Mama and Kara became irate upon learning the whole story of what happened to Pixel in the swamp and hearing that both Harold and Seisha made deals with the hags. Finally, after hearing all of the details surrounding what happened, Mama Uwe ordered, offered to read the cards of the children. She laid out the cards to perform a reading of Pixel. The, assemb the assembled group became more and more distressed at e as each card was placed. Few of them sounded positive. Mama explained that there were multiple paths converging on the child. There was an innocent one tied to a dark fate, which is why she is broken. She saw something else tied to her, the marionette of a beast. Additionally, a dark shrouded lord was tied to her, and, um, and then finally something was obscured from them. Something of her past. Something watching. She did not, however, see any, in the, <coughs> see any indication of her being a hag. Next, it was Joseph's turn. He was a complete blank slate. The cards failed to tell a story of the, of the child. Mama Uwe cautioned the BFGs against going into the Feywild without a great deal of thought and preparation. She warned them not to trust their eyes, ears, or even each other. The group decided that caution was paramount and that they needed to take the time to plan and make sure of their next step. As the week wore on, the assortment of new employees were hired on. Star, the dancer, a waiter named Flynn. Uh, Miss Aura uh, was hired as well as Javier. The pair of goblins, uh, a pair of uh, <coughs> goblins disguised as uh, halflings. No, gnomelings. <laughs> That's what I said. Yeah. That's what we are today. <laughs> 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 Their names were Grubbo and Reek. 
We're asking far too high a rate to pay, and we're reluctant, uh, reluctantly turned away. On the day, like Harold and Seychelles. On the day of the grand opening, the tavern was full of lively people and fabulous entertainment, until an explosion from across the street rocked the building. Seisho rushed upstairs to don her armor mm. as the rest of the group uh, raced to the street. As the smoke cleared, their eyes fell on a sight none of them were prepared for. Among the burning rubble was the motionless body of a lizard folk, a friend, and a white lab coat. After the cobblestone streets of the bustling alleyway, erupt in uh, like chaos, like a tor torrential storm of people screaming and running, some running away from the burning building uh, of fire and ash and smoke, others towards it in scattered bodies of debris that lay amongst the burning wreckage. The entirety of the tavern empties out into the street with you, uh, and they're all filled with fear and curiosity. Amongst the patrons are Avi, Embrick, Ziltip, Petunia, and Fatima. Of the other neighbors uh, unaccounted for, you notice Fala and Vincent had not made it to the opening yet. Tally had stepped away because he had forgotten something as a gift. And you all can all see Raishal slowly making his way up the street from his establishment. From the distance and in the chaos, you watched as Salazar's body slump to the ground. From a quick glance, it looks as if five to 10 others could be caught in the wreckage of the explosion an explosion that came from seemingly nowhere, suddenly to catch so many off guard. The building on fire is one of the three residential townhomes between Spirits of Trollskull and the Bent Nail. Although not entirely engulfed in flames, you do see uh, a fire beginning to form. And if they get out of hand, they could cause a chain reaction down the alley. You know, Seisha ran upstairs to go put on armor uh, donning in case a fight is to break out. Uh, as you are all rushing out, one of the, there's still Mert there, um, Volo, Floon, and the Butchers as they make their way out. They all, um, thank you for the evening and understand that you are in a different situation now and they will leave so that you don't have to worry about them. Okay. On the way out, <clears throat> Mert comes to you. All right, looks like uh, the grand opening was a blast, but I don't care to sit around and wait for the watch to ruin my night. I'll be making my leave. Um, Ooh. who, what's your passive insight? I think you might have 14. to hide. 14. 13. 12. Okay. 13. No. So my two 14s, even though he makes this joke, you can see his eyes linger just a little bit on it, and you can see that there is some concern and sadness for what's transpired. Um, he seems to be hiding it behind the, the sarcasm. Um, yeah. but, but he's not just cold and like, that you yeah. definitely get that sense of nervous. Let me make a joke so I can get through this. Right, yeah, yeah. and moment. with that, he makes his way out yeah. of the, that along with Floon and Volo. Yeah. Okay, I rush to Salazar. Yeah. Yep, same. Yeah. Yeah. Um, All right. Assist. Uh, I'm making a medicine yeah. check on him. Assist. I want to look around for anyone who looks suspicious. Go ahead and make me an investigation yeah, I'm check. Also looking for someone suspicious. Okay, make me an investigation 17. check. Um, or a perception check. Perception. 17 on medicine. 17 on medicine. Okay. Investigation is oh, better. Let's go through everything. Quick. Yep, we'll start with the medicine since that you got me that first. Yep. Um, as you look over the honorary member of the BFGs, you fear the worst from his still seemingly lifeless body. Looking him over, you can easily tell Salazar is severely injured. Broken ribs, severe burns on his face, arms, legs, after being engulfed in an explosion, explosive flame. You touch his cold, scaly skin and feel not, no response before you feel the faintest heartbeat and hear the, sh the shallowest of breaths. I use a potion of healing Yep. immediately. Looking him over closer now, you can tell he has taken a heavy blow to the head and seems to have, su have suffered a concussive trauma and is currently comatose all other bodies around you are lifeless. You pour a potion down his throat. Yeah. You see some, some of the burn begin to close and heal, but still heavily scarred and he does not move. Is, is, he, stable? is he stable? 
I think so. He, he, and and as you're doing this, you actually see him move, and you can see something underneath him, and you kind of hear a move him. I move That's him probably, immediately. Probably Sally. Is it? Um, we're yeah. gonna go to investigation okay. as oh, you were doing this. Us. Okay. Um, oh my God. I will let you know I, yeah, he is stable. Too, that with your medicine check, he's complete, but he's comatose yep. right now. Yep. So you do know that the potion did take effect, but uh, because he took a certain amount of damage, he rolled on a certain chart, and that's gotcha. what happened. Hey, a uh, question for you real quick. Uh, since I assume if they're not helping, people are going to be looking. Is it, Can we break the rule for one or two people looking for these people now? Mm. In case. Because I guess I'll just wait for them to point out who they are and run after them. Because she was going to roll it too, but it was yeah. like, oh, but the two of us uh, already you rolled it. Help. Yeah, you. You say everybody can investigate. Yeah, I mean, every, everybody can investigate in, sure, in this aspect if you're not yeah. looking over Salazar or yeah. putting on your armor. Yeah, I'm just looking so you three uh, for anyone yeah. suspicious to track okay. down. Okay. And you're all looking nice. for people sus. Nice. Uh, is well, it perception well, or yeah. investigation? Wow. It would be yeah. investigation. 19. 19? Uh, okay. That's what was yours? 18. 12. 12? Okay. So as, at the edge of the crowd, we'll start with Harold, um, as well as the scorch marks lies five bodies as you look around looking for someone, anything that stands out. Two are the bardic halflings identified by the instruments still in their hands. And by their side is a baked and burnt clay of what used to be a mud-made iguana. Oh, no. Now a Sorry. petrified statue, instantly hardened by the heat of the blast like a pottery in a kiln. Oh, Jesus what? Christ. As you look over and see Vinley <sighs> touching, figuring out what's going on with Salazar, you see his body move. And as you all stand over him, you see as Daclan calls out for help underneath the body. Oh my God. That's what I felt like. I pull Salazar up and immediately lay him gently to the ground and immediately go to <laughs> Daclan. Daclan. I'm checking him out. Again. Uh, with a quick look uh, over Daklin. It looks like Salazar took everything that was meant for Daklin. Oh, man. He really is the best member of the team. <laughs> <laughs> his, his lab coat now singed and blackened by ash. Okay. Daklin kind of stands up and He's just shaking. kind of backs away <laughs> and, just, and just doesn't move. He's just staring at what just transpired. Um, but he, he slowly takes a couple steps back and lets people get in. Um, he does hear you, but he, in the chaos, he doesn't yep. move. Also, what, what Harold sees, among the bodies, you find an elderly woman. Um, the elderly woman is someone you do not recognize, seemingly out for a walk, enjoying the crowd. Two other young female humans, seemingly in their late 20s, accompanied by a half-elven man Judging by the one ear you can still see attached to his body. What did you roll? Uh, I, I rolled 12. Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. see way more than you. Yeah. 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 You all see this as well. Mm -hmm. We're just going to the ones that only he got to, and then we'll go up. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> uh, uh, these three seem to be wearing attire akin to North Ward servants. Around their bodies, all mangled and broken from the blast and debris, are various items indicating they were out running errands or heading home after work. From the wreckage, you see one body slowly standing up and staggering through the ashes. Right. Tunia. Yep. You find closer to the epicenter of the explosion two cloaked human males, their bodies shredded like wet paper bags, holding a delivery from the butcher covered in third and fourth degree burns. No way. The first you come to is a young man in his mid-twenties, bright ginger hair, pierced ears, a defining old scar cuts across his left eyebrow, and another across his right cheek. The other you find is a middle-aged man with salt and pepper, shaggy hair, lean figure, sharp sunken features, defining his charming face and black sunken eyes deep within their sockets. Near them is the charred remains of a gnomish man with walnut brown skin and vacant turquoise, uh, turquoise eyes wrapped in the burnt remains of a thick leather cloak. To his side is a dagger still clutched in his hand. Uh, v. On the forearm of the thin man with the charming face and sunken features is a black winged snake tattooed on his right forearm. And as you are looking over the dead gnome, you notice the putrid smell of sewage waste on his boots and cloak, suggesting that he has spent some time in the sewers recently. 
He also has a pouch containing five carved garnets, two ruby, one amber yellow, and the other a two uh, a deep purple. Okay. And that is everything that you guys notice as you look around. So you're standing over Salazar. You guys are looking around. V, you just you notice just on on his arm. You notice that tattoo, and then you see the pouch open as you kind of bend over, looking, trying to see more details of it. You find the pouch full of gems. Um, and then there's still the man who, who stands up from the epicenter and is like staggering around. I'm gonna go straight to that. Okay. Um, how about does the fire look? Yeah. Um, as, as you're looking concerned yep. over this, mm -hmm. from behind you, you hear a loud booming voice of Imbric yell out like an erupting volcano for everyone to step aside and make room. At his side, you see Avi begin casting as he moves his arms in concentrating circles, telling everyone to remain calm. From his arms you grows watery tentacles, pouring out 30 gallons of fresh water as he focuses on extinguishing the remaining fires. As this happens, a large beam of burning debris breaks away from the weakened structure, plummeting towards the crowd before a burly fire genasi catches it with his bare hands. Damn. A hissing sound cloud of steam rings out, obscuring the man as Avi's water washes over the final piece of burning wreckage. Sick. Cool. I love our neighbor. Um, <laughs> is everyone safe? I, I, I'm, I'm checking this guy to see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll yeah, get to we'll that. Get there, I'm yeah. kind of, as I, uh, Avi's like putting out, I think I have the fire under control. Um, How does it look? I am, Bad. do I hear anyone inside the building? Um, Make a perception check. Yeah. I, uh, I cast mage armor. Okay, got it. Fourteen. Uh, there is no sounds coming from inside. Okay. Can I? Um, I probably have to know they're there, if they're there. Um, never mind. Skip over me for now. Sorry. Are you gonna tell everybody what you found? <laughs> Yeah, I am. Um, sorry, I have a little personal technical confusion on my page. My notes are all gone, so I don't know what that tattoo means anymore because it was in my notes. <laughs> okay, uh, Zintarum. Zintarum, okay, yeah. The notes tab is just gone. gone. Like, it's, yeah. it's just not there. Um, you were oh. looking at your character sheet while logged in from another person. Is that really it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess oh, that's yeah, you're uh, not logged in. Weird. All right, just kidding. That's the first time it's ever happened. Yeah. I was like, what um, the heck? you got to log in. So anyways, uh, <laughs> all right, so I tell everyone about the tattoo, which you said was? Zintarum. Zintarum. And uh, there were five gems in the pocket. Uh, there's a, a pouch. Ooh, a little a pouch. pouch. And yeah. it was uh, two purple ones. Uh, two one, rubies and a, an amber. One red and one just yellow. Just grab them. Yeah, I mean, I grabbed grab them, the but yeah, like, you I told you guys pouch. about this, yeah, is yeah. my point here. Okay, noted. Uh, do you mention anything about uh, anything else? Do either of you mention anything else? Um, I don't. Uh, I mentioned I mean, the, um, I didn't notice much of importance. You, you mentioned more important stuff. I was actually going to say, I'm going to send, send Dr. Jones into the building to look for people. Okay, okay, got it. So a little mouse hops off and begins scurrying into the wreckage of the building. I hold out my hand and send Savard to call a shop to make sure that they're either there or wherever they are. Okay. Um, as as you you do, um, I'll let you know what happens there. Ethan, the man standing up from the explosion ashes is badly hurt. His right arm hangs low as he holds it close to his layered splint leather brig. Um, <clears throat> and from that, his uh, uh, on his left side, he starts to stagger through the alley towards the north. His face peeling and burnt away, nearly down to the bone on his right side. Oh, I'm gonna get up to this guy and kind of like, hey, 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 man, you all right? You okay? Uh, oh, oh, he well, turns. His, oh, ah! Oh, oh. Do I recognize this guy? Mm -mm. Nope. Uh, I, after hearing about the tattoo, I check his arms. Um, he is fully dressed in um, a studded leather, um, like splint. Hey, I, I think you should sit down, man. You're, I, I, you you just got woman. really messed up. I can heal you. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, that sounds good. What? Oh, what the fuck happened? I don't know. There was some kind of explosion. Did you see anything? Uh, no. 
No. I just In insight. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm gonna. <laughs> what I'm just, everybody's a suspect right now. Mm -hmm. Uh. Sixteen. Okay. Um. He definitely seems to either be inebriated, concussed, both. Um, but his words don't seem entirely truthful. Um, could be that he is unaware or unsure of even who he is or where he is right now, um, or he may be withholding information. Do we go after the guys at the Tall Tories, maybe? I thought that I was think, oh, they're, they're laid out. This is the only person that stood up from the record. Uh, 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 they're, yeah. they're, they're not responsive, they're too, dead right? on the yeah. They're, yeah, those were two people dead on the ground. Yeah. There, there was those two, and then the gnome, or, or what you saw. Got it, okay, yeah, yeah. I I'm going to... Make a deception check. Okay. Okay. Um, did you look at the man that she, when she pointed out the tattoo on his arm? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and make make a perception check. Cool. Because we're all back in our group now, right? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nine. <laughs> Nine. Something's familiar about this man, but you can't quite put finger on it. On the guy who actually got hurt. The guy that's down, dead. Yeah. Dead. One, one, one of the guys. Shaggy dead. hair. Okay. Cool. Shaggy yep. salt pepper hair guy. Shaggy. I can't think of it. Okay. Oh. Yeah. So continue okay. your yeah, so, deception roll. Yeah, I'm going to tell him, "Hey, man, well, you need to sit down. You are so hurt right now that if you take another step, you might bleed out." I'm just gonna try to get okay. him oh, to sit yeah, down. Got, got Almost persuasion. Uh, no, because it's a lie. I guess it is. I have no idea yeah. if he's okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Twenty-two. Uh, he. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm gonna sit down for a minute. He has possible yeah. internal bleeding, and he's on blood thinners. And so he just kind of sits down for a second. Yeah, he just kind of sits on the curb and just kind of like arm limp, kind of like. I'm going to cast healing word on him. All right. I try to. I'm just going to try to gain some trust before it. Okay. Got it. Inevitably. Murder him. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> uh, he'll gain uh, six healing. Okay. Um, Got it. And then I'm going to sit across from him and look for everyone else. Like, okay, just stay right there. <laughs> okay. so subtle. Um, they are still looking over the other bodies as you made your way towards him first. You, you see Fala coming down out of their shop um, with Savard on their shoulder. Um, you, as you look up, you actually see this entire half of the greenhouse window shattered in. Oh, oh my no. God. Uh, your mouse does not seem to find anyone injured. It seemed that uh, the... The building took most of the brunt from okay. the outside. The building got a little bit destroyed, but nobody was in that area when it was hit. Okay. Seeing that everybody was outside. Okay. Awesome. The building's on fire? Okay. Yep. It's um, burning. Is there's there no any? one in the building. No, that the building got taken care of with Embrick and Avi yep. as uh, they took away the debris. No one's in the building. Um, there are people, if you continue, there are people in the building, but they're yeah. safe and they're coming out of their rooms trying to see what just happened, but nobody's injured. Okay. Yep. What about the area of the explosion. Probably too dangerous to traverse right now. Uh, that's what you all oh, are doing. Sure y'all are in. Y'all okay. are in literally the, the cool. center of where the explosion went boom. The building caught some of it, and Got that's it. what Imbrit caught and Abby put out, and then the people, okay. the various bodies scattered about. Yeah, there seems to be about 11 bodies that were here. Okay. Yep. In that case, I'll probably notice him being like, ah, and walk over. Okay, so him. there, and You're what, it, what are you doing, V? Okay, um, well, no one needs me to run in and save them from the building. Uh, no one looks suspicious when I did the investigation check. We just looked at the, uh, the suspicious uh, bodies. Yeah, the only person that looks kind of maybe suspicious is the person that Harold's talking to. Um, seems to be the only person that was a part of the accident that is still walking around. Okay. Um, you're uh, walking over to Fala? Or wait I'm going to turn to tell Boss we need to get Salazar inside the station. I pick up Salazar. Okay. Um, where is Zach going? Uh, he stayed. Right. Um, he he took still like a couple of steps spot. back and then stayed yep. right there because it's just pure chaos and he yep. knows that he could get lost. Okay. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. Um, the gnome? Mm -hmm. No. The guy, the dead, was it the gnome, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, yeah. He smells like he came from the sewers. Like he was just recently in there. Mm. So right. that's a note I forgot. After you. Know. Tell me that I slowly look over at this dude and check his shoes. Okay. No, you can just looking at him, you can tell. Yeah, you, you see that he has traveled through the sewers, but there's nothing 
Got it. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna, as he's pulling Salazar <laughs> and carrying Salazar, okay. I'm yep. going to. You lean, up, you lean down, you pick up uh, the limp body of the lizard kin, skin charred, and part of it crumbles off as you pick him up. Um, he just limp, mouth hanging open, as I tongue coming out. Come to the out. bar, I want to say, Leaf, lay a blanket. Um, and he goes back to the kitchen and gets a couple of hand towels. There's no uh, blankets in the tavern area. Fine. Yep. yep. Best he can do. Yep. Yeah. I lay him gently down on that. Um, uh, as you go, you actually see um, Kara um, and um, Flynn um, have actually cleared off a table and have you lay him on a table. Okay. I'm going to um, acknowledge that I see Fala and get their attention like, hey, I see you. Glad you're okay, and grab Backlin and start pulling him inside. Like, what's your passive perception? Uh, fifteen. You see that there's something in his hand. In Backlin's hand. Mm-hmm. So when I pick him up, I'm gonna be like, "What do you have? What do you have? Can I see it?" But I'm definitely yeah. picking him up because he's not moving. I, I, I heard a plop behind me, and I found this in the barrel. And he holds up um, what appears to be a gold-plated chain-link necklace. Um, it has a broken clasp, and there's four small chains dangling off the front of it, but nothing else about it. Do I recognize the make? Do I see anything on it? No, it's l- the only thing that's there is the gold chain. And, and then the four hanging chains? four hanging chains. Oh, you fuckers. <laughs> I know exactly what that is. Um, <laughs> I'm going to have it and still carry him inside because I'm looking for his mother. Um, and as I'm walking, I'm like, where are the other two? Where are Pixel? Where are Yosef? Um, you see them in the tavern. Okay. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, as as soon as like Daklin comes in, like Kara immediately runs over and grabs him, and yeah. now her attention is on him, and the the four of them kind of usher off into a corner, um, mm-hmm. and she's checking and making sure he's okay. Says if you need anything, let me know. Of course. But I'm gonna tend to mine. All right, you're inside with Salazar. Um, about this, nope, not yet. Um, and all right, so you're over there. You walk over to that V. What did you do? So I told them about, about mm-hmm. the mm-hmm. sewer smell, mm-hmm. and then I stuck around okay. Okay. with Harold. Okay. okay. So you see this? Just in case something funny. This, this gentleman just sitting down, kind of just. I'm ready to strike <coughs> and chase after whoever it might yeah. be. Yeah, and he's just like he's like. He's rubbing his head. Uh, he like, seems uh, like kinda, disoriented. Yeah, real disoriented. He's like kind of like touching the side of his face. Uh, li- a little, a little bit of it closed up, but yeah, it's, it's more than six hit points can do. He's he's gonna <laughs> he's probably gonna have a few scars. Yeah. <laughs> just look, look, pal. We just want to get whoever's responsible. You're the only person there that could have seen anything. Are you sure? You absolutely sure? There's nothing you know. Can I, do I need to roll for make a persuasion check? Yep. Persuasion. Uh, sixteen. Look, look, man, I, I must have been hallucinating j- just after the explosion. I could have sworn I saw a mechanical angel of death moving among the bodies. I thought it was going to come for me next, but it spared me and turned away. I just want to go home. If someone could just, I, I just, you know, I just, I just want to go home, man. A mechanical angel of death. Yeah, hence the hallucinating part. No, no, I, 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 I understand. You just any any defining features of it. It's a mechanical angel of death. I mean, then how did he? How, then how is he the only one that saw it? Is what Harold's thinking. He's the only one that's alive. I, He's look, the only one that's alive. That's true. I, I just there was a bright light, loud, hot, like just I. That's all I know, man. Well, right, let's 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 check the sewer. I don't think I, it's all good, yeah. man. The healing, sh- you should be good enough to get somewhere. Get somebody to take a look at you, okay? Thanks for that. Yeah, all right. All right. And then uh, I'm going to go over to the nearest manhole cover. Uh, you know, uh, just a little bit further down the street, uh, mm-hmm. headed towards east, yep. is uh, the manhole cover that is of this alleyway sewer. I'm going to pop in to the tavern. Okay. I'm going to look and be like, I got a lead. Get. Get Seisha, meet me at, uh, and I describe where it is on the street that the mantle cover is. Yeah. Okay. What's the re- what are what are you two doing? 
I'm going with him to the manhole okay. cover. Okay, what are you doing? I, um, I had a quick question about our spell slots concerning last week. Are they still, if we cast, they're still there? If you casted today. Oh, God's honestly, I can't remember, so I'm just going to assume I don't did. think you. You don't think I did? I don't think you casted anything. Nobody had cast anything yeah. because it was a brand new yeah. day. Yeah, this thank is a brand okay. new day. Yeah, okay, yeah. So thank you, sir. Okay, so um, so will, we should go ahead and they can catch up with us. Right. I will remind you, you see Reichel making his way. Reichel, make yeah. sure he's. Yeah, he, well, but he looks okay, right? Yeah, he looks fine. You just see him kind of in the crowd. Yeah, uh, you <laughs> He's see, still going. Oh, as, as, no. you're, <laughs> as you're making your way, um, as you're making your way up, you see Tally walking oh, towards you. Good. Okay, because uh, that's that's the direction that his oh, shop is. Uh, actually, you have the. Oh yeah. Go, Varsity. Go help me something out for you guys. You can. Oh yeah. I had. I would wave to to Ruck Shell. Be like, I'm okay. I'm here. Um, he, he seems he, to be heading your direction. Yep, heading yeah. towards you. Nope. I'll, I'll meet. I'll meet him. If he's, if he's heading towards me, I'll Ooh, meet him yeah. part of the way to save time. <laughs> oh, that is fabulous! I want Thank revenge so bad. Yep. And then this is for you guys, so that way revenge. you can actually see what oh. you. Um, so no. Yep. Yeah, it's too late to do that now. Okay. So the sewer is down by the bent nail. It's okay. at the very end of the. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Yep. All right. By the bent nail. Bent okay. Nails right here. And then um, there. And. Uh, what are you doing, Voss? Um, I go upstairs. Okay. Like, Stacia! So you, yep, yep, she's yep. like three fourths of the way through putting her armor on. I. <laughs> she's really close. Really close. <laughs> like, I grab what I can, off. strap it on her. Quick. No! Okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. Okay. I need you downstairs now. What, what, what's happening? Salazar needs your help. What? He's stable, but I just need you to check on him real quick, and then we have a lead. She's so just going to grab whatever's not on and go race him downstairs. Okay. As you go down, you see the the broken ribs, the burns across his body, the black sooted uh, lab coat, and um, you can tell, you can see the shallow breaths of his chest begin to rise and fall. But Lay on hands for five points. Okay. And then I'm walking over. Is he within range of the heart? Um, so that's a great angry. idea. Yeah. Wow. Lighting a fire. Okay. okay. Got it. Got a great um, idea. Brilliant. Uh, just passively, I'll you can see more you. of his wounds healing. Mm -hmm. He but still seems to be unconscious. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Not moving bad and still badly burned. Yeah. Um, There's only so much the I mean, magic can do. And um, as you guys make your way, do you, um, Tally, what? <laughs> I, I don't know. There's some kind of explosion. Now that Salazar's okay. okay, I'm going to the porch um, to get Follow's attention. Yeah, I'm on my way back. I, uh, a construct made of uh, both burnished copper and pale wood ran past my shop. Which direction? Uh, um, I think it went. I think it went that way. I'm not sure. I just as soon as I saw it, it was the, the flash of light. But I know it wore a red robe and a, a foppish red. Um, hat with a feather, and, uh, but I'm, what really caught my eye is the distinguished Van Dyke style metal crafted beard it had, um, like filigree metal work. Uh, artist seeing something, like an artist of myself seeing it as miraculous, and then all of a sudden there was this explosion. Um, but it reminded me, I saw an automaton like it similar in the twin parades a while back as part of the Temple of Dawn's procession, uh, last year's Day of Wonder celebration as well. All right. So red hat, feather, evil looking goofy stance thing, sir. Um, and then uh, shall come uh, finally makes his way to you and goes, I heard something uh. explode. <laughs> So I <laughs> thought I come by. Come help. Thank but you. I <laughs> see it taken care of. Yes, it is. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> She's so polite. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that you're okay. You should probably. Is there something for me? I'm standing behind him doing this to, to you. Do. Perhaps get out of the way of the, the guards, and then he will be inevitably coming through to address the situation. You also see, um, kind of, on the, like right next to him, is a very 
nobly dressed woman. Um, and tears down her face as she just looks like she's in just pure shock. Did she you seems see to be uh, standing outside the tiger's eye. Did you, did you see anything? Did anything? I tell you what, I saw. There was no man. It was more like a puppet shaped like a man, a puppet without strings. It was on the rooftop. It hurled something into the crowd below that caused the explosion. I saw those halflings burned alive. I saw them screaming. Why was that horrible creature? It needs to be stopped. We're doing the best we can right what? now, but you need to get somewhere safe, okay? Did you see where it went? That escalated quickly. <laughs> what did we get for not hiring the halflings? <laughs> they die? Great. Cool, thanks for that. Uh, it is not those halflings. Oh. We did oh. hire those halflings, though. Yes. yes. You did not actually Yeah, we did. Them. We hired them Anyways. for the week. <laughs> oh, whatever. Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, can I look around the rooftop to see anything moving through them? Um, as you look across the rooftops and the smoke fills the sky, there is something that flies above head and cuts through the smoke. Do I think it's Griffin. Griffins? Yeah. Yep. That's what I was gonna it say. Is. As they, you see a few of them start perching on uh, the rooftops. Well, if it's on the roof, they've the got a handle. The bleeding of whistles echo through the alleys, way streets nearby. Maybe, maybe only thirty seconds away. What do you guys do? Um, I'm gonna go straight to the sewer. You all hear this. Yeah, you hear the sounds of whistles Crap. blowing. I stop. Um, what if they attack the people? What do we do? I catch up to them. Harold thinks there's a lead. I, we, we're gonna go check that sewer before they get here in case Para, it's not. Para, can you keep an eye on Salazar? They're gonna try to go through Aye, here? I can. The Griffins Thank are with you. us. Are the kids the okay? Are oh, hey. She looks back yeah. at them and okay. they yeah, seem we're quiet, <laughs> not really okay. moving. Just, um, yeah. yeah, seems a little scared. Stay here until we return <laughs> until the watch thinks it's safe. We'll be back, okay, guys? Jacqueline's just staring into nothing. All right, we need to meet Harold and see Emiliano. Yeah. This means I have a lead. Okay. I head outside and I look for him. Uh, we're probably over the manhole and I'm getting her to lift it because yeah, there ain't no I'm, chance I'm, I got I'm it. I'm pulling yeah. it up. As you're He's pulling, getting in. As you're pulling up the manhole cover, um, there's oh. three entrances to this alley. And over the next couple of minutes, this alley becomes overwhelmed with city uh, guard blocking off all exits and entrances. Oh, shit. Blocking everyone in. Oh, shit. You start to count at least six city guard at every opening. Through the lingering smoke of the explosion and extinguished fires, you all now see four griffin riders perching themselves along the rooftops. Walking down the scorched cobblestone street, escorted by city watch, is two men. This is right as you go to lift. Yep. Do you continue to lift? I don't no, know. No, I let go. What? Just, I've got a map. Are we all together now? Yeah. yeah we oh, can I thought we were cut off by police. Okay, yeah, sorry. Just so you know, that was real time. Okay, cool. <laughs> of course it was. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've, I've got a plan. I've got a map of the sewers. Okay, okay. Right. Uh, how we do we? We can go in somewhere else. Okay. Okay, all right. Well, okay. You, you lead the way. Walking down the scorched cobblestone street, Escorted by City Watch is two men. One about 5'8 oh, no. with scuffy, <laughs> scruffy, dirty, mud brown hair over a long, thin face of a man well into his 40s or 50s. Dark circles fall beneath his heavily bagged, sad looking eyes that dart around as his brow furrows and articulate some calculations that rattle around in his mind. He jots down notes on a, in a small journal. His body is hard to gauge under the multiple layers of heavy cloaks and brigadine armor painted in the colors of the watch. The other is a smaller, portlier, portlier man, standing almost a foot shorter than the other, looks almost blind behind the layered goggles that wrap around his golden yellow blonde head. Not much more than his nose can be seen from the ruby lensed goggles with arcane etching and a thick, bushy beard with curled mustache. Unlike the other, he's not cold and calculating. As you notice, his body begin to look over the scene curiously in a way that mimics the theater. These two. Voss, you instantly oh, recognize him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if you guys want to just cast that. Yeah. Out. Okay. <laughs> All right, men, stop questioning everyone while MP Blastwind and I survey the scene. Start with the bystanders. Then question the residents. Don't let anyone leave the alley without Captain Cray's approval. Yes, sir, Sergeant Crumley. 
From there, you watch the shorter, more portly man begin inspecting the bodies. He watches, he stands at the, in the location as if he were walking down the alley adjacent to the blast before uh, mimicking the motion of flying through the air, landing where the bodies fell. The body he does not seem uh, to do this for is the male gnome. And he stands above the body and looks upwards towards the rooftop on the other side. He seems to be looking at the building next to Steam and Steve. He then looks at the spot where the man with the burnt face pulled himself free from the explosion and begins retracing his steps through the soot. And the two gentlemen begin conversing between themselves. What do you guys do? I roll. Did time seem of the essence in this? I mean, if they are escaping through the sewers, then we have to assume, yeah. What's going on? What right now? When Tally pointed, he did not point towards the sewer. Nope. Oh, he did he not. He did point towards the rooftop. He. Uh, I know. He actually pointed towards the north. I believe it's north. Okay. Uh, towards where? The north is. Yeah. That way. Yep. Pointed towards. Oh, the I didn't. No, way. north is this way. Yeah. Yep. North pointed is this towards way. the north. And it, if you look where his shop is. The shop is. The bent nail. The bent. Is, it, is on the east right side. Right here. There it is. Yeah. Yep. I so he said he went this way. Yep. Do we think there's any way for us to get off the street without being stopped? You can most certainly try. I will remind you there are Griffin guards. There's right. Gr four Griffins on the roof. And, and six and guards at every entrance and exit. Yep. Maybe we should just go talk to them so we can get clear to leave quickly. That's what I'm thinking. That's, a, that's not a bad idea, but the, every second we take is a second they, they're running. Yeah, yeah, so I'll go talk to them. Can we sneak by them? You're pretty small. Uh, maybe. I'm just gonna start sure. walking up to. Okay, sure. somebody who's. In I'm gonna. Who's doing I'm gonna try else. to. We should talk to them. I have pull with the city with my name, and then you are you. She can try to sneak by while we distract them. Is there a house next to us? Oh, there's plenty of houses. Mm -hmm. Um, is there a door close by me? Through ours. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. We could yeah. just we can go through our building and just go out the back. Okay, we do that. Yeah. <laughs> and try and sneak that way. Who all is leaving? I had already walked toward an investigator. I will <laughs> reach out and grab you and give you the plan. Like, we're going we're gonna to go we home. Like, we need to go home where it's we safe. Need to go to the we should go to the tavern. And then slip out the back door. You know, I need to clean mm -hmm. the laundry in the back. We got to check in our friend. You're scaring me? Come with us. Okay. Yes. <laughs> So we will just all go to these troll school. Giant heads of like, I'm come with us. <laughs> I'm just saying that. Okay. Well, just, is the essence of this. We just want to move quick. And if we get caught, then what? We're we, going to be delayed even more. Okay. Well, guess what? We're not going to get caught. Let's go. <laughs> oh God. Okay. <laughs> you guys start making your way towards the tavern. You start noticing as uh, watchmen are going to every building. You make it into your building. And waiting for you inside with a look of extreme concern on his face is Renair. Ho! He's here! Hey! Um. And as you stop to see him, you see the watch uh, go to talk to him and then back off as soon as they see who he is. Fairly similar how you see them kind of acting around you and Liliana from time to time. Oh, yeah. Um, Renair, let us talk quietly. It's not disturb the watch with the investigation. Yeah, we're gonna go inside. You're inside. Oh, we're inside. Yeah. Yeah, Dang yeah. it! I am. Not, I am not on it tonight, guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's good. Maybe, inside the tap room. Maybe as for you the walk sake in. of privacy, we should go to the basement. Yeah, we good need idea. to do inventory. Or we're just we gonna go to the basement. It's our place. We don't <laughs> need an excuse. Look, guys. <laughs> I'm not used to this. to this. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I open up the basement door. Okay. Nor are we used to having our own place. So I'm going to check on Salazar as I'm going down there. Same as last, as you left him. Unmoving, laying on the table. Let's go, let's go. Seems more healed. I will motion to everybody. Let's go. Yes, agreed. Mm. Okay. And we'll be done. Um, Renair follows as you open the stairs that lead down into your cellar. Mm -hmm. uh, there is uh, cold storage and ale storage down there um, in the two rooms. Um, and what happened? Is everyone all right? Yeah, there was Did some you have time to look through the wounded? Yes. 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 Yeah. Everyone has been preserved. Did you find a gnomish man, tan skin, bright blue eyes? Yes. Mm-hmm. Did we? Is he 
He, that, that, that's the guy with the tattoo, right? No. No, no. no. no that's oh, no. Shaggy. That's Sewer Salt and Pepper. Okay. And leather. The leather. The, it was the guy holding the knife, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Had yeah the, sewer and the, the sewer oh. stain. Yeah. 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 Sewer and he asked. Uh, and, and he said, and is he? Sorry, man. Thank you for telling me. Who was he? Who was that? His name was Dalakar. He worked for my father. So Joel. she pulls out a little notepad. <laughs> Were you able to find anything on his body? Anything important? I, yeah, I, I found these jewels. And I hand them over. That can't be what he wanted me for. That is obviously payment for my father for him to watch me these past few weeks. Uh. For a while, I thought it was Dalakar organizing the kidnappings, as I had noticed him skulking around. He sent me an urgent message asking me to meet him in a covert public place so that he could give me something important. Thank God you I offered. I offered your tavern as a meeting place because, well, you've saved my life twice already, and if I figured I needed backup, I'd have some of the best in the city. Aww. Feel free to keep the gems, but I'd like your help in figuring out why this happened. My abduction and his assassination has to be more than mere coincidence. We're tracing a lead right now, but we need to do it now if we're going to follow up on it. You're welcome to come with if you so wish. In fact, you, we might need you. City Watch seems to respect you quite a bit. Yeah, you should come with. What do you know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, only what's been explained here, uh, and what you've told us now. Yeah, Tally was saying that uh, he saw a mechanical being with. Uh, 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 it was a red hat with a feather and, and a like cape. evil man mustache goatee twisty type. Why no. is a puppeteer? What? Oh. And, 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 filigree mechanical beard. And then, and then, and then someone said they saw a, a puppeteer throwing something, throwing down, something down and oh. exploding. I wonder if um oh what's her name? She runs the shop with where you got the drum. She might know who could Trinkets make something and like trunkets? that. Trinkets and trunkets. She might know who could make but something no, like that. No, there's isn't there? A, don't, don't I remember um, from a parade? Tally said something. Oh. Tally said something. Right. Yeah. Um, the uh, anim gone the is what it, what it was. Was it was gone? Gond. Yep. Gond. Okay. Oh, cool with these names. He's seen, he seen something sort of like this at the uh, the village parade. Is that right it was? the? It was the Day of Wonders Day and of then the twin parade. Yeah, it was the two twin? different. It was yeah. just springtime and then Day of Wonders happens in the fall. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay, cool. And I explain that and I say he saw something like that from uh, Temple of Gond, I think is what he said it was. He said they were similar mechanical beings there. <laughs> Does any of this okay. mean anything? Right. I mean, uh, the Temple of Gond, um, House of Inspired Hands, it's, um... It's in the Gond, Seaboard. Gond is, a um... Oh. It's in the we need to go, we need to go to Gond Gondwatch Gondwatch Lane. Dimensions. Gondwatch Lane. It's, it's in the, the Seaboard. Um, it, it's where they do experiments and test out trinkets and, and Trunkets, mechanical things. Is this, in the mechanic, is this in the direction you were saying the thing was going. Is this north? Uh, do I know? Um, I mean... The, it's at the southern entrance to the The Seaward sea is, like, west of you guys? Like, kind of west. It could be north, could, like, various northwest, southwest, west of... We're, we're assuming that they know what's going on. This very well could just be a, something stolen. We need to go in the direction Tally said he saw it go. But if it's been tested, if anyone's seen it, it would have been done in Gondwatch Lane. But you said you were going to the sewers. Why? Well, apparently your guy had sewage on his shoes so we assumed that if he was a part of it they may have entered through the sewer to deliver the bomb and exited through it that was my first guess i feel this could I think be there was something on the roof though right and that's what i'm saying i think that that's more likely that but if they were still on the roofs then those griffins would have seen them already anyway I feel like this could be my fault, and I'm sorry for being us. Um, no, it's not your fault. I was looking mm. into my abduction and trying to find out where Dalakar was staying so that I could investigate his intentions and try to get the upper hand on my father. I have uncovered that he has been staying in a hostel or tavern in the Southern Ward, but I have not been able to find the location or the name of the establishment. I did receive your letter, Harold, and I'm sorry I was unable to come sooner. I knew you were busy getting ready with the grand opening. Judging by the crowd, I'd say it was a success. I'm sorry my decisions cost you and your neighbors such loss and grief. Mm. Unless there's something 
you know that can help us right now. I think it's best for us to get to rest for the night and get started in the morning. There's a thing I really need to talk to you about, so then I can tell the other Harpers. Uh, okay, can you tell me now, or do we need to speak I, I don't know if you want to talk privately, or if you want me to just go ahead and say it. He's Let's talk privately okay. first. Wait. Okay. If you don't mind. Is this important to this uh, situation right it's, now? It's important. Very so, important. We, we need to be focused on whether we're chasing this guy now or if we're not chasing this guy now. I thought he just said we were going to wait. If you have a lead, feel free to go after it now. But I all I have is talk. A, I can stay with Salazar. Okay. We go. Yeah, I we saw, check it out. If we can't find it, then we'll check again tomorrow. Agreed. Keep them near the fire and keep the fire burning. Tunia, are you fine staying with us? Yeah, 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 I can, I can help. Then let's do it. Appreciate it. All right, north side, let's go. What do you all do? Yeah. We're going to head up in the direction Tally saw it go. Yep. And try to investigate and try to find. Now, I will say you may have trouble getting out right now. The watch is going to question you. The watch is going to detain you until they finish their investigation. Is there Why any way to you? the sewer without the Because I'm a noble. Yeah. It's kind of a big deal. Can you give us some sort of sign or an insignia or something like that that we're on official business from you? I'd probably have more luck with her. We've got her. Hello. It's me. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so what could I do to help all of you guys? Here's what you do. You tell them that... Uh, uh, we, we, we are we, your bodyguards for the moment, and you're going to go check on your family. They're going to know who you are. You just opened a tavern. Your yeah, neighbors well, are going to know who you are, and, and your neighbors are going to out you. And then we, we might just have to wait. With we, them. we might just have to wait it, until tomorrow. Honestly, in this aspect, it's best not to lie because everyone around you is going to out your perception. Mm. Just let me talk to them. Okay, fine. Good. Uh, well, oh, oh, fine. Good. Fine. Okay. Do you all go upstairs? No. No. I'll go with you. Okay. Yeah, get the two most reputable. Finley, <laughs> are you staying? I'm going to stay with Harold and Ross. Okay. Oh, God, we left the murder trio um, in the basement. I'll stay with Could the murder be. trio in the basement. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they have, they have Petunia. <laughs> they have Petunia. Uh, I, She's okay. I need you to take this. <laughs> <laughs> Do not eat our Under friends. supervision. Okay, as you go up, you see, as you go up, you see um, a, a two watch members and the two that were in the alleyway okay. going and talking to people. The tall human and the short human. Yeah. Yes. You also see Fala. Mm. Um, Are you okay? I was trying to meet with Brindley. You all just kind of rushed in. Uh, yeah, we were trying to figure out how to deal with this. Yeah, we were all caught up in this nonsense mess. Yes, um, I was tending to my plants, preparing for the day's end, so I bet I could join in the festivities, but uh, then all of a sudden, uh, my windows were shut. Oh. Yes, uh, luckily I wasn't injured. But through the smoke, I saw a cloaked man. Something in a... It was a body that I walked by, a, a, a gnome. Um, but the man, the cloaked man I saw, take something from that body. What kind of cloak was it? I don't know. I wasn't that far. Did you see a color? No. Did you see which direction he went? I saw him while he, after the explosion. Okay. And then I walked down, and it was uh, the gnome body that I noticed. How, how tall so was he? So, so you didn't notice yeah. where he went? And everything was obscured through the smoke. Okay. Could you tell how tall he was? Tall, short, medium? Average height? He seemed thin. Average for human? Yes. Okay. Elvish? I don't know. Depends. Well, yeah. humanoid. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm not here. Yeah. Sorry. I hear a small person. <laughs> not that size. <laughs> 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 Don't mind me. 
<laughs> and you couldn't see what it was. Not through the smoke. Not, like I said, my glass was shattered. No, I, I understand. But, um, I tried to see what happened, and that's all I noticed. And then when I came down, I noticed that there was the gnomish figure. The, the item that they took, did it seem larger than their hand? I, that I didn't. I just saw okay. them reach down. I, I'm sorry. I'm, I, 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 I feel like Fala is going to give her all the details. Information as possible. Yeah. I'm giving you what I have. Thank you. I thought I could help. Um, Thank you. If you if you wanted to go see Fenley, um, you can head into the tavern and go to the basement. Uh, they're in the tavern. Yeah, y'all are, oh, are still. Oh, you okay. came up and we in your tavern. No, in your yeah, tavern. Yeah, she's in the tavern. She's she's in the basement. Yeah, you see you see that um, the watch, especially these two members, have kind of set up like this is going to be the interrogation spot. It has chairs. I'm walking to them. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm walking and with. She goes, well, only or sorry, they say only if it is um okay i don't want to wander she she would probably be grateful to see you thank you mm -hmm. um this is troubling very much so i hope she looks over at salazar he's kind and funny naive and innocent mm -hmm. i do hope he recovers he will he definitely will yeah. Um, if if you're hurt at all, go sit by the fire for a few minutes. Before It'll help. Sure, sure. Yeah. Um, okay. And once they start to make their way past us, yeah, shall we? Yes, okay. we shall. All right. And they kind of reluctantly start making their way down into this the wine cellar. Mm -hmm. Just seems a little weird to go into something that is not theirs. Yeah. So just abruptly and willingly. <laughs> yeah. Yep. As you approach with you behind, uh, I'm assuming V, you're behind Thetha. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. He looks up, uh, the uh, taller man with the sad eyes looks mm -hmm. at you. Your demeanor indicates due diligence and enthusiasm. The fact that you are battle one, you wear battle one armor should indicate a hardened warrior, yet your age and innocuous kind eyes reveal that they are merely hand-me-downs. Your shared b shield bears the markings of a scroll, suggesting that you hold the litany of a paladin, uh, scriptures of a cleric. Funny, though, because most wouldn't notice the old signs of tr the true image. The scribe of the dead, Jurgle. Are you here to document the dead, or here to uncover knowledge as well as we are? I and then looking past you. Uh, tall, strong features, black hair, earth-toned skin. Yep, that's me. Your refined clothing suggests that you are of noble birth, as Surprise. does the blatant display of unsheathed weaponry. Yeah, Her well, you know, it's an axe. What are you going to do? Cloak is untouched by the weave as well. Her cloak is touched by the weave as well. Mm -hmm. It is a good to see you, Lady Viomiliana. Yeah, your you're reputation right. precedes you. Thank you. Do tell your father the order was very appreciative of his generous donation this year. I'll pass along the message. What has you wrapped up in this predicament? Wow. How did you do that? They have eyes. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, moving along, moving along. Yeah, we uh, um, we were having our grand opening, and there was an explosion across the street. Um, one of our friends was hurt in it, so we're trying to figure out what was going on. And we were hoping that maybe we could be we interviewed so that we can go about our business. We would like to solve this just as much as you can. So if we are help to you, that's what we want. Without getting in the watch's way, of course. Well, <clears throat> I see your lizard friend wearing a lab coat. Very peculiar. It'll do that. His name is Salazar. He's a good person. Seems to want to mimic the actions of civilized life. Strange. Uh, to help us would indeed help you. So if you would please sit down here, we can go over our, our interrogation. All right, let's do it. Um, sit what down. All, what all do you tell them? I tell them everything I have learned. Okay. I tell them that I saw some dead doodles with some tattoodles. <laughs> <laughs> You use that exact phrase. I hope so. I do. I do. <laughs> <laughs> right. One had salt pepper long, kind of shag daddy hair, and then the other one 
fiery red, younger, still just as dead. Wow, that rhymed. Yeah, I'm clever. No, I'm not. Have you been drinking? No, I is. You know what? I don't see a lot. People react to tragedy in weird ways, Seisha, okay? <laughs> no, that makes sense, actually. Okay, so I'm sorry. You, when you say you tell them everything, I tell them, um, I tell them about the mechanical thing okay. mm -hmm. and that um, I'm thinking it would be a good idea <laughs> to go to, uh, was it John Ward Alley, uh, and try to follow up there. Temple of Dawn. Uh, there's an alley where they actually test, I think it was John Ward, um, where they actually test things that are deemed too dangerous. Yeah, that's right outside of the temple. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I'm thinking that if we went there, we could possibly follow up on you, it. That is a good choice. We will go there. You okay. will stay out of the watch's way, right? Of course. Of yes. course. Yes. Yeah. We are so obedient. They look at each other and then look back at you. I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> you should be. Not fucking with us, but you should be obedient. Go to the watch. What, are, what are your names? I am Sergeant Safe Palmer. Bottom is Laxley. Pleasure to meet you. I am Lore Seeker Seisha Valispard. Mm. And you already know me. Yes. <laughs> Roll the eyes. Agba. Yes. If that was sure. correct. Which would make sense as why the skull was scratched off and why mm -hmm. only the skull remains. Must be a hand me down, I assume. It is, yes. From a teacher. Yes. Also with the armor? Yes. Just waiting to face on this whole conversation. <laughs> Can you hear the whole conversation? Um, uh, can we hear what's going on? That's a good you question. hear conversation, but you can't. Yeah. yeah. If you want to try to listen, make me a perception check. If you want to try to make out sure. specifics. Yeah. Okay. Thirteen, not good. Okay. So, uh, other than what we've, you know, told you, I, I'm really, you know, freaked out about tattoo gang potential gang member dudes because I don't really know exactly what the tattoos mean? Do you think this is some sort of gang activity? What any motive might have been behind? It's Maybe the same it's... time. I missed that part of the conversation, didn't I? Well, she is alluding to the fact that the Zentarum were attacking us. We're looking into whoever the actual target was. That makes a lot more sense. This figure you're talking about, this um, metallic man, Mechanical, oh wait, no, I didn't hear that part, never mind. Yes. I do believe there was an explosion. Um, it originated from the rooftop, as people were saying. We reduced that easily. <clears throat> Judging by the impact of the explosion, you could t tell its trajectory. I do believe it was an arcane in nature, as there was no scent or residue of propellant powder. I also deduced that the gnomish fellow was the target from the catalyst point of detonation. However, one of the three men that seem to be pursuing this is Nissa. Oh. You, you did not talk about him. I don't know about him. Yep. Maybe it's yep. a traitor among their midst. We need to know who he was, who we may have talked to, and who these mysterious sick bottom boot prints were from. The sewer. The slick bottom boot prints were from. The sewer. Didn't they say they found um, the guy whose feet were covered in sewage? No, no that, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's a different person. Different, yeah. different thing. Okay. And and then he's probably this metallic construct, mm. which would make sense with our, my an initial perception that it was something with the considerable weight of a Goliath or an orc, something larger, but thinner, thinner framed like a human or an elven male. Hmm. Anyway, lore seeker. Yes. Valispar. Yes. Thank you for your time. Of course. You may go. Thank Where you. are your other uh, constituents? Um, they are currently in the basement. Uh, watch, gather them, please. You, you want me to go get them? This will go well. Sure. Okay. Go over. Are there any exits down there? No. Okay. Go over no to the basement. Before we get I'm to that, we go Am back down to, to the basement. Yes. You yeah, lady, lady. Thank lady you. Gatala. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go downstairs. Your hair hey, is still blonde. <laughs> what? Yes, Your it is still blonde, so but we are going to cut back to the basement when. Um, oh, while we're up there. Oh, yep. while Fala gets down there. Yep. yep. So you guys are left alone in the basement for about a minute or two. Anything happen? What are you guys, are you guys waiting for? Can anything? we just kind of sitting there? Harold's pacing. <laughs> Harold's okay. agitated. He doesn't look happy. I mean, he's starting. He's just sitting like with like head to toe, just sort of quietly waiting in her, in her lap. 
start to hear footprints. Despite what happens upstairs when we go today, they'll burrow underground as soon as they can. And yeah. then the trail will be lost. We're gonna have to yeah, we're definitely gonna have to go out and look. As soon as we're free we can. Tunia, we may be doing some erstwhile illegal activities to follow up on this. Are you comfortable with that? Such as? Well, we may have to break and enter, we may have to avoid the city guard. General Haven't we already technically been done two of those things together? No, we technically had the key to the nearest mansion. But you did evade the city guard. Yes, well, we won't do that again. Specifically. <laughs> <laughs> um, not that part, anyway. But um, I was making sure you're comfortable with all of this. It kind of dragged That's you into it. something I can live with. It seems to be for the greater good. I think you need to find who did this and I would whatever justice. helps, helps. Agreed. We appreciate the assistance. I hear someone coming. Mm. And you notice as the proprietor of the Corellans crown, Fala, starts descending down the steps. Hey, there they are. Fala. Fala. Hello? Um, is everyone okay? Yeah, yeah. everyone here is fine. Is How are you okay? Yeah. I'm fine. The glass... Uh, of my greenhouse has been exploded on the east side, but everything is fine. Um, I told Seisha what I saw, and I just wanted to let you know as well. Uh, some figure cloaked, I couldn't make out through the smoke, uh, stole something from a gnome. Body? Renair mentioned something. Yeah. An item. Did Renair tell us exactly what Is Renair still down there with us? No, Renair went up. Okay. He, he went did, up to say my talent talk. He didn't know what talk. it was. Damn. Yeah, in the letter, it never specifies. So you didn't see specifically? Um, I saw this activity from my greenhouse. And right, so yeah, that's far enough away. Smoke and yeah. explosion and chaos. That's as much as I saw. All the more reason for us to leave quickly. I'm going to cross the room to follow. Okay. It's hard to them. They hug you and embrace you as well. When but, I like, I'm not smiling or anything. It's the pure seething, like, you're going to kill someone. <laughs> Would I have noticed Vinley and Daklin in the the necklace at all? Do you think I would have noticed that in the chaos? Uh, I just or the, the excuse me, the it. change something. Uh, ten. Nope. Okay. So I don't know about it. Uh, Harold, what is your passive perception? Uh, 14. 14. You would have noticed this. I and and uh, Vinley has it, right? Vinley currently has it, yeah. What about that necklace? That thing you picked up? Or the chains? Um, it's... Daklin said he heard a plop. And then he had this. Maybe there was... Maybe what the, is it? Yeah, well, It'll know. just give me a minute. I think. Yeah, it does. One minute, I think. No, plus ten. I apologize, never mind. Yep. It's 11 minutes. Okay. I don't know if it has any pertinence to it. Maybe not. To well, we got, we got time. We might as well check and see what it does. We can try. I don't know if we do have time. This may be something we can do later. It could just be a necklace. Could be. There's no runes on it. There's nothing. I've already checked. No runes on me? I'm magical. If we find no leads on our trail here, we'll check it out then. And good point, I guess. Um, if there's no more required uh, need of my assistance, I do believe I'm going to start cleaning up my greenhouse. That's fair. Tending to the plants. If we have time tonight, I'll swing by and help you fix that. Yeah, I try to clean up well. Tomorrow's fine. Okay. And you All right. seem to be busy, and thanks for looking out for the alley. Of course. Thank you for stopping by. Sorry I was late. I hope the festivities were grand. Perhaps. Mm. Maybe this is a sign you should be late in the future. <laughs> <laughs> well, luckily, the tavern was not the target. Um, yes. Yeah. I just know where I'm not staying. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I do not make enemies. Uh, but I bid you good night, and may the moon smile upon you this evening. I good bow night. to them. And they bow mm. and make their way up the stairs. Followed by more footsteps. As Seisha and V make their way down. Well, All right, we're good okay. to go? Uh, no, they want to talk to everybody. Yep, you guys can't go until they... But we're good. 
sweet. Uh, do you're you... still blonde. Yeah. Well, it's so two fun. gentlemen. One is really tall. One's kind of short. They are so smart. They looked at us and like named all this stuff about us. Mm -hmm. And so they know. The and noise. they know that they're, you're all down here, so you can't get away with it. Well, there's no way to get out anyways. They're upstairs. Okay. They've set up shop inside. You know what out. I'm saying. Yeah, I will follow up. Or they know at least. No, like, goes away, trips up a step, goes and keeps going. <laughs> They're really nice, though. Oh, good. You know nice, these guys? smart people you that okay? know everything guys, about boss? people they don't know. Yeah? I go uh, upstairs behind her. Yeah. I'm going to follow. I'll hit, uh, oh wait, I'm gonna I'll stay downstairs you with you. Okay. We need to talk. Oh, yeah, we do. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot. I, I have know. to stay downstairs. Um, as you, uh, who who goes up first? Petunia. Petunia. Okay. All right. Um, as you make your way towards them, um, mm. they, they just kind of um, ink stains on hand indicates excessive mm. amounts of reading, writing, and smudges on nose. All prints on shoulder reveal possible familiar to arcane users. Hello, yes. my name is Petunia. Your bag indicates that you work for the shop down the street. It's a bookworm's treasure. Um, judging from the type of messenger bag it is, it seems like you do the deliveries. Yes. Your name? Petunia. Petunia Potts. You're not an established worker for the Spirits of Troll School? No, I'm their acquaintance. Hmm. Friend. And then, as you, you are done, they walk. They see Harold walking. Hmm. Talky, smug demeanor. <laughs> Features of both human and elf. The flamboyant and peacock style of an attire, as well as the mask worn on your shoulder, indicates you never show your real intentions or emotions. You don't like for people to peer too closely because you're afraid of what they might see behind the mask. <laughs> One you might be wearing right now. I the accordion in the case that you were a bard, suggesting you either like to hide behind the success of others or the face of and distraction, which I can tell you will not work. I wish I was what there you know? for this. I stare. I'm staring oh, yes. at them. I, I beg your pardon, but is this all entirely necessary? I thought you needed to know Oh, no, no. People expression. who think they're important always say their thoughts out loud. It's how they make themselves feel better. We're just waiting for the others to return. Who, who's next? I am. Elven features of fair skin and dark hair would indicate moon elf, yet you walk with a demeanor and disdain of look of judgment from that of a sun elf. No mistaking you are of high blood, but you seem burdened by a past, two paths, hardened by one you were forced to take. The ink on your many layered robes, as well as the tome of your hip, could indicate that you are a scribe or a bookkeeper of some sort. Ah, that is, if we didn't notice the wands tucked under your sleeve, very clever, a small hint of lavender indicating you are an escort, washwoman, or healer, which the answer is proven by the medical bag you carry on your side. Good choice. Yes, you uh, are here to heal these wounded. I can assure you that you're sadly too late as they have all perished. I know. I've already checked on this. And then boss is last. Yep. Oh, look. There's the drunken, rugged bully blade in the <laughs> Skinner case. Yes. You would um, be here, wouldn't you? No, I'm sorry. And to confess this accident as well? Yes, everything is my fault. <laughs> now that we've gotten introductions out of the way, what I am is Sergeant. everyone's surface thoughts? I hate you. <laughs> what, what a long and seem what a long way to introduce oneself to acquaintances that they are just to strangers. Mm -hmm. They shall leave theatrics to the professionals. <laughs> uh, I hate that they know so much. But there are ink stains on my clothes. <laughs> uh, it could be something <laughs> recent that you haven't been through doing stuff in the town yeah. and stuff like that yeah. that you haven't yeah. yet. There's a lot of stuff going on right now. Yeah, <laughs> but surface thoughts are... Yeah, yeah. yeah. And what would, are your surface thoughts be? I'm not there, dog. <laughs> oh, right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> We're downstairs. Right. We didn't get right, asked right. this question. We're now served. I know, right? Um, I'm a little sad. We're I'm trustworthy. We're trustworthy. for this yeah. uh, Voss being uncomfortable and y'all <laughs> calling him a drunkard. I know, I am Real too, sad I missed that. Uh, oh. Sergeant Saith Cromley? I'm wrong. What did he say to Voss? Uh, 
He's, they said, the drunken, rugged bully blade from the Skinner case. And you would be here, wouldn't you? Have you come to confess mm -hmm. to this accident as well? Which he very so sarcastically said. I am thinking about the Skinner case. Okay. Still thinking about that anger and trying to suppress it. Okay. In that specific instant, hearing that being like... Yep. Yeah. That scene playing through yes. your head again. We take note. Mm -hmm. um, Sergeant Seth, Seth Crumley. Major Protector, Barnabas Blastwind. We just have a few questions. Yeah, go ahead, blast wind at us all day. <laughs> uh, ah! That's <laughs> good. Does nice. anybody withhold any information? No. No? Okay, I so you... know very little. Okay. Yeah. Same. Uh, so you let them know about something that they didn't talk about. Uh, I didn't know anything the about guy, the bodies. Do you talk about the gentleman who... Yes, okay. I, I absolutely mentioned him. Um, good to know. We'll have to look into him. Can you describe everything about him? Uh, well, he's missing about half his face. Hmm. Um, pretty pretty easy to find. Wearing leather brig. Uh, did he give you a name? I don't think he did, did he? No. He did not no. ask it. He did not give it. Mm -mm. Okay. He seemed pertinent at the time. It always is. Well. Names are easy to follow. Now I have to go through a list of possibilities. Yeah, imagine having to explain who everybody is to all those people every single time you meet them. It must waste a whole shitload of everybody's time. Ha, ha, ha. These are the jokes. Uh, <laughs> so let me ask you this. How is this pertinent to the lives lost outside? Exactly. That's what I thought. Thank you very much. I'm done with you, sir. I was about to say you said pertinent to the lives lost outside. I wish I was there. Damn it. When you... Those are my neighbors. Don't ever... Insinuate, I don't care about my neighbors in my own fucking bar. I don't care who the fuck you are. And I'm just doing my job trying to find out who killed them. Then stop wasting time and start getting the questions. And I get up and I head down to the basement. Okay. Um, they continue. You see, you see them write something down in a book? It kind of like grows smaller and smaller. <laughs> uh, they continue asking questions. Uh, do you describe everything that you found? Uh, okay. Yeah. All right. So they take note of everything. I thank you for your time. We have all the notes that we need, and we're going to continue asking questions. But you're free to free, free to leave if you so wish. Great. I head back down immediately, quickly. So okay, before so, you guys get down there. So while y'all are talking. So here's the thing. I totally had forgotten about something that's kind of important that Gariel told me when we were on our date, and uh -huh. I remembered it, and then I realized that I needed to tell you. But you got. Uh huh put in a position where everybody knew what was going on before you knew, so I figured I should tell you before I tell everybody else. What is it? Apparently there's a rumor that, you know, the, the guy you were betrothed to? Yeah, Osvaldo? Yeah, um, apparently there's a rumor that your dad may have been involved in his disappearance. Do we know how he was involved? No. It's just a rumor that he was, in fact, involved. She didn't know a lot about your family. That doesn't make sense. My dad totally wanted me gone and married off. I thought, maybe, at least I thought he did. Maybe there was something else that he saw he could do with him? Wait. Or the, he thought there was something else he could do with me. Yeah. Which might be why he cares so much about getting me back. Yeah. But I wanted to tell you before I told the Harpers when I remembered it, because okay, it when wasn't all this fair. mess is done, I I might have to find Osvaldo. If you need help, yeah, I will. Okay. In the meantime, um, I think I figured out where we can get into the sewers. Oh, okay, where? Um, number thirteen, which is actually going to be. Um, there's there you come off the main road and you turn right and it's about halfway down and it's it's not a busy street from the look of it so it should be okay. So by the bookworm? No, no, this is north of us. Oh, okay. This is actually a good distance away so that we don't get spotted going into the sewer. Okay. <clears throat> I'm trying to think like Voss. It's about this time that whoever or Harold comes angrily I'm trying to stomping. think like Voss. Oh god. That was awful. Those guys are amazing. Brilliant. I know. It's right? un it's uncanny how right he was. Yeah. Uh, ah, 
I, I, I gotta admit, I kind of like them. I know. <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't. <laughs> if they'd take on an apprentice. Well, it's not going to be me. They pissed me off, but damn, they're good. I good. Know, right? I like them. And they, and they yeah. smarted right off back to me. They're, they're okay in my book. Oh, yay. I figured out where we could go into the sewers. I don't, I don't think we need to go in the sewers. But, oh. but you know, we can't hurt a check if our first lead doesn't work out. Okay. Wait, am I the only one who didn't really care for them? I mean, oh, yeah, I oh no, no. Uh, Voss hates them. I did tell them about the alley, so we need to get there quick. Huh? I told them about the alley, so we need to get well, there quick if that's where we're going. That's no surprise. Okay. Uh, well, we're, yeah. Once once they get down here, we're going to... Skadoodle? Yeah, we'll just skadoodle straight over there, take a quick look. If we don't see anything, we'll start again tomorrow. I assume okay. the three of us will come down by now. Yep. You yeah, guys start down. making your way. You, you hear footsteps, and you see the other three of your members. Man, party. fuck those you're guys, right? Then, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. I hate them. They're ridiculous. Wait, Good wait. job sticking it to them. I'm telling you, Good man. Good job. Didn't you just say you love them? Insight? Which one was truth truthful? Uh, sure. Well, an insight. Yeah, same. I bet we Although, were. I'm pretty oh, sure I know. Yeah. What's up? Mine's a 10. Mine is, I rolled a 19. Oh, man. I think my insight is 2. <laughs> you want to roll something in a pose? Yeah, you know, I'll roll this. Oh, no, I'm you sorry. You say what it is. My insight roll. is plus oh, no. 4. It's 23. It's both. <laughs> it's a little bit of both. He said two very different statements. <laughs> what did you get? For the first one. Oh, for 23 for the first one? Yeah. Yeah, I totally bought it. 100%. Yeah, that's, that's but real. But which one was... Real. Yeah, you That's believe what, what you believe exactly what I said. What? I, I I believe it. I believe. But one you said was the polar. Are you inciting of the other. both of them? No, no, no. Just the one I told you. Yeah, she wants I'm to know which one was I'm trying to tell which one was the truth. Yeah, and I'm telling you that you're so, trying to detect. I'm telling you with 26 deception, you have no yeah. idea. You don't know which is the one he's telling. You can't know. Uh, I'm gonna go off pure instinct and knowing you. Actually wants to use my. <laughs> He's double talking you, you have no idea. I don't particularly care. Good job telling them off either way. <laughs> we can leave whenever we want, and I think now's the time. Uh yeah, we should get going. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, uh let's let it, yeah. Uh as you leave, um Renair will stop you and uh, ask you, you escort you over, ask you where you're going. We'll explain. Uh we're gonna Head to the north. We're gonna check out the Gond thing. We're tells gonna... you that he's gonna stay here. Okay. Look over the tavern while you're gone. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Look over Salazar. Make sure that he's safe. Um, get Karen and the kids safely to their house, and also asks you one last time. It's good that you found a lead there, but whenever you have time, we also need to look into the lead of why this person was targeted. Oh, right. Did you hear about? Um, apparently. They took, somebody showed up and took something off the person you were meeting. I did not know that. Um, I just we, found we, out I think from we found Krala. That out later. Yeah, I just found out from Krala. Um, they were ooh, wearing a black a cloak. cloak. Well, no, yeah. they didn't have a color. And oh, yeah. They're, they're not. Their average height. The detective's not there, or the, the no, guards, no, no, no. it's all just well, us. Uh, they're there, they're not with you. Okay, Renair yeah, yeah, right. takes you into the kitchen. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to show Renair the necklace. This have any. Anything for you? Just like jewelry? Okay. I don't. It's, you have no idea it's what magic. it is I they were know. meeting up with you to There's give no to um, you or show don't. you? I don't. The explosion was arcane in nature. Okay. Well, I know something found. Anything we should know? Not that I'm aware of. Okay. I mean, no, going? I, no, nothing. Oh, you're saying it narrows it down in a vague sense. Now, you can, can make, make an roll? arcana check. Um, but no, he was he was a thin man, average height. He bent down and took something off the person. Twenty one. Nice. That is a necklace of fireballs. Yeah, it sure as fuck is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, what is it? A necklace of fireballs. I don't know. Okay. I, I Say know he was Rainier. How hard is it to come by a necklace of fireballs? Fully charged. That one is obviously there. From your 21, you know that this was a very cheap necklace of fireballs. It can have it up to seven, I right. think. And it had uh, the least amount it can have is four. You see four chains hanging. Yep. Um, I mean, in this city, anything is possible to get. Um, 
Well, that right there in your hand is the necklace of fireballs. That Ooh. is what caused the Ooh. explosion. It can't work now. The necklace itself is nothing. Okay. It's the beads that are attached to it. Oh, Notice shit. there are no beads attached. The person throwing something down like confetti, the necklace falling to the ground, someone running away. And could they burn all four of those at once? Yes. Did we see who dropped the necklace at all? No. Did anyone Daclan. see who? They said. Oh, didn't they? Dac Dac Daclan just heard something fall. He didn't see anything. Didn't somebody? Got really good ears. <laughs> I'm doing so good. Yeah. <laughs> Too good. Too good for good. He said Tali saw both a person on the roof and the person right. running away <gasps> at the same time. You don't think Renier was the target, do you? I think that the guy who was coming for Renier was the target. Maybe they were both the target. I think the person who was supposed to meet with him knew something that they didn't want or shared. Or they had something. He said he had something for him. Okay, that's, then that's I think they wanted to make sure that wasn't so shared. They wanted to make sure If you saw he them take something from him. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we didn't follow dead. Okay. Let's, let's get going. Yeah. 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 This yeah. is the right. second time Good something's luck. been taken from Thank me. You. Thank you. Mm. Head out the People back. People stealing from you. It's my family name. Father included. Feel that. <laughs> 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 mood. Yeah. Big mood. Um, as, um, as, as you kind of leave, he actually grabs your shoulder huh? and just takes it. Oh, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love the awkward sense. She's the best. No. <laughs> uh, you, you can go out the back if you so wish, um, but the watch. No, let's go out the front. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 we, yeah, we, yeah now we've been given the clearance to go, so we're just going to. You're right. escorted by two watch members to uh, Captain Cray, and he s it says, as long as you talk to them, mm -hmm. you're free to leave. Cool. Thank you, Captain. I stink eye the two detectives as I pass. <laughs> Secretly think to myself, if they can read detect, detect thoughts as I'm going by, those beautiful bastards. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. The, um, Got it. One the looks at you with sad eyes, and the other one. Gives you a shit-eating grin. Yep, just I, 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 I struggle not to grin back. You're just like, mm, God, they're too good at that. I like at them and just think, eh. <laughs> <laughs> I fangirl. Yeah. Yeah, nice. <laughs> All right. Continue true. <laughs> <laughs> yep. uh, so where, where are you guys going? We are going to... Well, let's check the north that north alley. Like that gone more to alley. alley. Uh, he was walking this way, he went this way, and then that way, or that way. Um, so north. That's so a right, lot correct. Of it's going this way. Oh, so I see. Yeah. So it could be. One. Yeah. So he went left or right. So what would we need to roll to try to track these guys? Where's our? Oh, ranger you're going to. One? You're going to the air. Uh, you're watch trying to lane. track. I'm sorry. We're trying to just. We're going in the direction that Tally told us that it went. Okay. Seeing if there's any evidence of it going in this direction. Right. Or like anything. maybe like bent signs or something where like a big yeah. automaton might have bumped into it. Okay. Or like heavy footprints from something very heavy. Like sloshing through with bigger than normal feet or something. Um, you are all doing this. This would be a disadvantage just because it's on an, a hard cobblestone street. Right. Yeah. There was just chaos. Right. Of, of course. Footsteps. There is um, uh, the the the. Everything's messed up right now. Yeah. Everything's messed up. Um, disadvantage on which roll? Uh, either survival for tracking or investigation. Can I, roll investigation? I will use survival. Investigation. Okay. So the, the rule of two, since it's two separate check options, is it still just those two, or could I do an investigation while they're doing survival? Uh, it's all one check. Okay. I'm giving you the option of which uh, stat you would like to use. Okay. But My survival is pretty solid. Yeah. Right. So two people can roll it up. Check. That is surprising. Here we go. I know. I was surprised too. Natural one. Uh no. Uh, ah! You can take my 12. Okay. Petunia to the rescue. I got. Oh, well, damn. Oh, and then okay. That's what I got. Okay. Yeah. It's too Thank, Thank you, you, Petunia. That was awesome. <laughs> uh, now mine's a 15. Uh, 16. Okay. Nice. Yeah. yeah um, you see soot marks of these very stylized, obviously smooth. Um, smooth soled shoes that oh, you can shit. yeah that you you think are shoes and then as it goes into the chaos of the other steps and everything it just fades away 
Okay. So you know it headed this direction, so that is confirmed, but where it headed after that, you can't tell. Do we think we can get from the place that she's describing from the direction we're heading? Hmm. Uh, there is a lot of city in that direction, and Fair, it is that direction. Yeah. <laughs> um, shit, the I other think. option is we swing by Trinkets and Trunkets while uh, we're here. For what? To see if Ziltep saw something that somebody else didn't. Or if she knows who makes that kind of thing, because... She does get a lot of weird shit in there. <laughs> While we're close. Constructs. Honestly, we did kind of, like, make a whole carny, carnival up here to might murder everybody. She loves so us. It's very possible that she does, in fact, have fireball necklaces. Oh, that, yeah. You know what I mean? That just sells weird yeah. crap, dangerous crap. All right, yeah. if everyone feels that way, we gotta do it quick. Yeah, let's do it. Let's just pop in. Well, real fast. She is nothing but. Do I think it'll be? Do I think it'll it's be okay. a slow process Anything getting back through the guard to talk She's to fast. Zilpip? No, you are free to walk the alley. Okay. As long as you do not go near the crime uh, scene. The crime scene. Okay. Um, I will, in order to avoid. Yeah, no, we'll just all yeah. run in there real quick. Just. Yep. I'll. Hey, Zilpip. Hey. Oh my gosh! Uh, did you see the explosion? Are so you okay? As, as you walk in, she just, what explosion? No, there was a big explosion. Oh my god, are you serious? Yes, it was huge. I had no idea. Like the house across from us exploded. You come it in, it's like loud and like yeah. just noises. Yeah, 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 here's yeah. the thing, here's the thing. There was this big mechanical thing that was there and it had a hat and it had a like filigree mustache and we're trying to figure out where it could have come from. Do you There's know anybody who does that kind of thing? Beard. Uh, that sounds amazing. I have no idea, but if you do find out, let me know. I want to buy it. Okay, we'll do. All right, I walk out. see ya. That's good. <laughs> Let's go. As Voss leaves this shop. <laughs> It's like, this is the first time you've been here, yeah. isn't it? Oh, wow. Yeah, so the outside, there was, as you're walking up to it, there's this giant uh, mechanical, um, like, halfling gnome. It's hard to tell. And it has a top hat, and it lifts it, and there's, like, this uh, uh, airship that kind of floats around and shoots bubbles everywhere, and bubbles pop out of its hat, and it, it is an eyesore. All Voss thinks as they enter and leave this shop, this is another place for them to buy useless shit. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna burn it to the ground. Uh, yeah. no, as you look inside, you actually see a, a lot of that useless shit they've already bought. Oh, God. <laughs> 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 well, taxidermied animals. Yep. Yep. There's a yeah. whole yeah. bunch of trinkets. And you ought to not dwell on it. <laughs> Get out uh, of my owl. way. Right that's here. That's fair. Sweet. You know, that's, that's legit. <laughs> <laughs> I got an owl. I'll remember that. Let's head to the place then that you were talking about first and then okay. check out the sewers by that area. We'll we get a something. carriage to the seaboard. Go to the seaboard. And, and we're going to go head to, to Gondwatch Lane. Okay. You go to Gondwatch Lane. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, and you stop out and um, it's right off of the Street of Whispers. Oh, that's a good name. Yep. Right, like, you're dropped off right at the Street of Whispers, and you are, there's a couple houses and buildings around, um, and uh, go ahead and, uh, what, what are you guys doing once you get there? I'm going mm -hmm. to look for uh, folks in the lane who are, like, it, it supposedly they have a lot of spectators that sit around. Okay. So I'm going to look for folks who look very comfortable, and like they are regulars sort of thing and approach them. Um, given the time of night, as... Oh, is it, it's evening? Yes. Oh, I thought it was still the day. Okay. No, uh, the explosion <laughs> happened Excuse right me. after sundown. Yeah. Okay. As everybody was closing Pardon up shop me. to try and get to... In that case, I'm just gonna walk around and look around in general. Okay, you okay. do see <laughs> uh, evidence of like other scorch marks mm -hmm. and like weird, you know, scrapings across the, the stone and there's there's a lot of activity that happens here, but nothing is currently happening yep. right now. But as you look around, what draws your attention is in between Seawatch Street, the Street of Whispers, and nestled just on on the edge of uh, Gondwatch Lane, is above the Grecian building is an impressive and imposing in its size is but fairly boring in design, is a large dome with a massive telescoping lens pointed towards the heavens. To the east side is a long hall connecting to a tower that glistens like gold in the summer sky as each tier moves, spins, twirls, rotates like an intricate internals of a giant clock. 
each perfectly crafted to integrate so smoothly. A series of four giant gears rotate and spin like a gyroscope above the copper-plated tower. It is impossible to tell what its purpose is, if it has any at all, other than an ostentatious display of mechanical design and wonder. What do you guys do? Um, I'm going to look for the House of Inspired Hands. This is the House of Inspired Excellent. Hands. Excellent! Uh, <laughs> the tower is not accessible from the ground level, mm -hmm. however, the big Grecian building is. Okay, yep. I'm going to head that way. What is everybody else doing? Is everybody following? Following for now, but I'm also looking for any signs of that thing either in the that sky or yeah. on the floor. Yeah. yeah. Okay, um, you want to use your passives or do you want to roll active? It would be perception. Oh, perception. perception, yeah. Investigation um, is once you find something, you can look more through. I'll roll, I'll roll active. Okay. See if I can get something higher than what I've got. Okay. I'll help out, sure. Why not? Go for it. I'll take passive. Natural 20. Yeah! Ooh. What's up, girl? Uh, I got an 11, so not that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Your natural 20, you are reassured that you are along the way there, and while you are on the outside of the streets in the uh, at the Temple of the Inspired Hands, um, you, they, you do not see anything that matches this description of a metallic man with a uh, filigree Van Dyke mustache wearing red and a floppy hat. Yep. Uh -oh. As you enter the main building, Court Hall, you are greeted by the discord of organized chaos. Hundreds of people scrawling over blueprints, tinkering with mechanical inventions, e uh, echoes of small explosions covering people in scorch marks, and wandering unnatural creatures and monstrosities of failed experiments trying to combine the genetics of multiple creatures. The large body of an ostrich that looks like it has the head of a, and buttocks of a hippo screams past you at an unfathomable scream. You, have sw you could have sworn as it ran past, it screamed, Help me! <laughs> Scientists chasing after it. Oh my God. Every one of the inventors can be seen wearing large sun hats, welding goggles, and saffron colored robes tied together <laughs> oh by a tool belt. <laughs> in the back, above uh, the temple, like chancel and choir, hangs a four foot tall working model of a clock tower that rings at the top of every hour. It is made of wood, iron, bronze, and glass with brass bells and, that, uh, and delicate hands formed from a solid gold. Stopping by every station, looking over everyone's notes and creations, is a small man dressed in the fine attire of a tailed coat, gray vest, ascot, crushed stovetop hat, and a mechanical telescoping monocle that whirls from gears and occasionally puffs out pointless small poofs of smoke. On the back of his tailed coat, you see the symbol of Gond. His height was deceiving as he approaches. You see the familiar height altering stilts, similar to the man who sold potions you met in the trades ward. <laughs> As you look around, you see a few inventions uh, he inspects that are currently being worked on, including... Uh, a wooden flying machine prototype that sprouts wings and flaps when it becomes airborne. It seems to carry on for a while before crashing down from the second story. A miniature model of a mechanical dragon turtle that has a brass plate affixed to its pedestal that reads, Big Belchy, sank in Deepwater Harbor on Day of Wonders 1363 DR. Oh. <laughs> a functional walking helmet. A waking helmet. Oh, waking helmet. <laughs> equipped with small articulated metal arms and hands that gently slap the wearer as he or she falls asleep. <laughs> I need some of those. I could use that for notes. <laughs> a miniature model of a red submarine shaped like a manta ray that has a brass plated affixed to its pedestal that reads the Scarlet Marpinoff, a uh, Leightonese submersible launched in 1489. Um, and as uh, you approached, or as, as uh, you do, you see um, him. Uh, yep. Uh, he ap approaches, um, and um, you notice that it is a gnome. Um, and um, he kind of uh, takes uh, his top hat, tips it, and you see he has a smaller bowler underneath it. Um, yes, uh, welcome to uh, the uh, House of Inspired Hands. Uh, my name is Twiggilus von Hamilton Calamander the 32nd, uh, Twiggy for short, if you will. The 32nd? Twiggy! Oh my god! Um, what can, <laughs> I wasn't uh, ready. What can we do for you here at the uh, House of Inspired Hands? Hi, um, there was an incident this evening outside our home where uh, somebody said Twiggy. they thought they saw a giant mechanical thing that had a hat with a feather Bad and hat. a very intricate filigree mustache, Van Dyke style. If you could um, describe in more detail, um, giant mechanical thing, please. It was a, it looked like a person. Anthropomorphic. 
Red hat. Good. good. Feather. Vocabulary. Rather, uh, it had a cape. Twist. Right. More, more, uh, less about what it's wearing and more about what it is. Um, uh, it it seems like thongs. thongs. It sure. seemed, from what from what we were told, we didn't witness it ourselves. We were told about it, and from what we were told, it was a humanoid mechanical figure. It's about the size right. of a human or an elf with a mustache. Oh, what materials did? It was so a filigree it, mustache. Was it described to be made of? In a Van Dyke Mechanical? style. Mechanical? Um, all right, what so, so the is it like... So metal? I believe so like, wood like, 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 like his size? Her size? Or My like, size. Like her size? Like bigger? My size. Your size. Oh, dear. Is and it? as you're saying this, uh, you hear her say wood and metal. Is it oh, wood and metal? Dear. Oh dear, what? what is oh it? Dear. Does that sound familiar? Does it sound like something that exists in your house of demonry? <laughs> <laughs> Ignore him. We try to. Petunia's like to muttering to herself while she's trying not to touch anything. <laughs> Did you see that thing <laughs> driving by? Nice. Well, um, genetics. it's jumping on one of the tables. <laughs> Sounds like a nimble right. And um, yes, I have one. And that's where we're going to take a break. Oh! Oh! So do I get to free all the animals? <laughs> oh my uh, god, we're going to have a laboratory breakout. I don't think the animals want to be free. Salazar okay. would love to. They just want to be killed. Uh, thanks well, for watching. We'll be back in about 15, 20 minutes. Yet. Yep. Uh, Bye. 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 Being shocked by an explosion. Uh, that happened outside of their tavern on the day of their grand opening, went to investigate amongst the chaos, find that one of their uh, fallen friends, Salazar, was a comatose. They brought him inside and have been healing him, although he has not woken up. They asked a lot of questions, uh, found out some information about a mechanical man that seemed to uh, use a necklace of fireballs to cause this explosion before absconding with something from, or someone else absconding. Is it one person? Is it multiple? There seems to be a puppeteer, I mean, a puppet, a shadowy figure that. amongst the smoke. All these clues seems to lead to something that led them to the Temple of Gone, the House, House of, of Inspired Hands, yes. where they see a bunch of chaos and are greeted by a <clears throat> gnome named Twig. Yay. Hey, can I make a religion roll? You sure. can! <laughs> Nice. nice. What a journey, a good journey. I know, right? That is going to be religion a 19. All right. Gond, a uh, god of crafting and smithing. His symbol is a four-spoked gear known to be represented as a burly man with hammer and anvil able to craft the stuff of stars. He's also known as the Wonderbringer. He serves under Ogma in the thirst for knowledge, but is so independent of his superior, many often forget the connection. He is sometimes opposed by Mistra for holding invention over art, as he cares only for the act of creation and not what the consequences are from bringing them into the world. They're not right, like, they're not, yeah. they hate each other. Yeah. She's just like, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly that. For those of you listening at home, that was a significant eye roll. I'm, no, I, I heard the eye roll. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, the small gnomish man, known as Twiggy, Mm -hmm. takes you across the sky bridge that connects the main temple to the Tower of Invention. Inside is just as marvelous as outside, and it feels like being on the inside uh, of a machine. The sound of rhythmic clanking from the conjoining gears, the whirring of mechanical motors and chains, the soothing sounds of giant metal spheres dropping onto a set of big metal plates to keep everything in time are also creating a harmony of musical notes like an oversized music box. Floating in the center are, not, uh, are elegantly crafted massive orbs uh, from fine metals and glass of varying sizes that rotate in unison at different intervals. At the center is the largest orb that looks to be crafted from, um, or at least plated, in pure gold. From there is a series of other eight orbs that spin around the center while uh, continuing in orbit along the metal wire track it is connected to. <laughs> There was a fly. You wanna you wanna clap over it. Look, the don't sound go here for it. is loud, but surprisingly not overbearing. When you speak, you have to project your voice, but you also find a nice reverb to your words as is, you do. Is it loud? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, uh, 
Ma'am, uh, I have some friends uh, would like to see you. Descending down the intermingling, rotating gears from a platform a few steps up, a few stories, a uh, few stories up, sorry, uh, filled with a series of unique and puzzling inventions is a thin humanoid figure plated in copper and brass. The only bit of clothing it wears is a diagonally buttoned, asymmetric, five button tailed waistcoat with a red ascot. A small gear can be seen uh, pinned to the lapel of the coat. His face is like a smooth dome that ends with a sharp masculine jawline. A single line cuts across where a mouth should be that arcs up defining uh, simulated cheekbones. At the center of the dome, like featureless face, are seven brightly illuminated blue dots in the shape of a gear, where six of it of its irises encircle a singular center one. How may I be of assistance? Perhaps we can trade observations. <laughs> Pretty neat, huh? Uh, don't, don't let the obvious fact that he is a construct fool you. Uh, he is Amazing. a chosen of God. Uh, he created his own voice box uh, modulator to replicate speech patterns, so when I got him, he couldn't speak. I know. That is amazing. I know. It is good to meet you. I am Nim. Nim? Nim. N-I-M. Nim, it's good to meet you. Hello, Nim. I am Lord Seeker Stacia of Bellisbard. It is nice to make your acquaintance. Um, we have a question for you. How may I be of assistance? Perhaps we can trade observations. I'm sure we can. Um, we came across a, um, there was a large mechanical humanoid that was seen in a explosion tonight. Um, we're trying to track down who might have access to something like that. A mechanical being? Yes. Like me? Similar? But he was superficially different, at least. Mm. I describe the description. I have no recollections of these things in my databank. Do you know what time this occurred? Uh, I give the time that it occurred. Yeah. 8 p.m. Yes. Founders' Day. The commemoration of the birth of the city water deep from the 19th hour until 30 minutes ago. Yep, that's the one. Master Techsmith Twiggy and I were enjoying an arcane illusions depiction of the historical triumphs of the metropolis displayed in the Field of Triumph. It was my first time viewing it, and it has inspired me to create a, a device to display such a spectacle from their own living quarters. I just realized what it was. So, uh, <clears throat> if there is this mechanical being out there, need to know, uh, A, if you guys know of one that's missing, or B... Uh, well, um, the, the temple acquired one after I saw a quartet of them last year's at the Day of Wonders parade. Uh, it was the first time I had uh, been uh, dubbed, uh, they had been uh, debuted, and uh, with such craftsmanship, uh, it rivaled that of Koalish's design. Uh, I purchased Nim from a man from Luskin, but I can't remember his name. Would you, by any chance, have a record? somewhere of it? Heh. <laughs> no. Okay. What? Okay, so mm -hmm. what did this person look like? Um, he was human. Okay, all right. Step one, good. Doing great so far. Loving where we're going. How many can't did wait he to have? Hear the rest Age of the range, hair color, height. Are you saying there's others like me? Yes. Before? We believe so. Inspiring. I think I have something that can aid you in your endeavor. Really? Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I have just only finished it. If you can only answer one perplexing condition of the psyche, All right. I create to understand. And because some unknown force compels me to do so, I have these questions. There is something I have not understood yet. Mm -hmm. Perhaps because I cannot create. What is the meaning of life? God damn it, I knew it. <laughs> I knew I, that was going to be and then so the question. So you only give us it, the information if you answer this question? Wait, later? wait. And then so, is sentience, although artificial in itself, life? Uh, 
it varies from person to person. <laughs> it, at least as, as I was raised, the meaning of life is going to vary from person to person, each or mind to mind. Everything has its own experiences, its own desires. What type of life are you talking about? Because life exists in all kinds of forms. Well, so like human life, animal life, we're getting perhaps, life. Well, we're getting too nitty gritty. I think you have a good point though, it's different. So perhaps the meaning of life is to find meaning in your life. Hmm. That's Inspiring. As to your second question, yes, I think personally that anything that is sapient, able to think and decide for itself what it wants, what it needs, what's right, what's wrong, how can you tell the difference? Sounds like life to me. Are sentient or sentient? Those are two different things. I said sapient. He said sentient. I think, I think he means the same thing. Sentient is knowledge, sapient is I, th I think sapient, sapient is, is humanoid. Yeah. Ha sapient yeah. is like actual human thought. Sentient yeah. is like a cockroach. It's like I'm alive. Sentient I don't want to die. Sentient is a an independent mind. Right. Yes. All right. Well, I am. Yeah. So. Did you mean Glad. sapient or sentient? Hmm. As you go to ask him that, he's already turned around and moving away. He rides the mechanisms up to his area of construction before returning with something odd in his hands. You see a 12-inch contraption of gears, with an umbrella-like metallic protrusion at one end and a handle with a lever on the other. The automation, the, pir uh, the prize open his chest to reveal a nightmare gearbox of the most intricate design and uh, deftly, deftly maneuvers his hand into the center where you can see a glowing light. From there you see him <coughs> produce a singular shard of, of glowing crystal. Here you go. Oh, that is cool. Just don't look at the other side. That looks like a oh, pen yeah, with an umbrella. <laughs> That's interesting looking. That is what amazing. Is what is it? I am uncertain if this is nothing more than a power supply as he's holding the piece of shard in his hand. Or maybe a piece of my soul. But it will power this device. I have constructed it to find others like me, if they exist. And now you say they do. If you find me this dysfunctional construct, I will pay you 500 pieces of the material you mortals seem to find most precious. I'm in. Perhaps I will be able to create life from its parts. And the Temple of Gond will uh, gi even give you each a non-magical invention of your choice, uh, including adjustable stilts, a parapack, bark box, collapsing pole, or matchless pipe. Uh, but we'll cover that when you bring back those parts to us. Which we will. Because okay. I want those things. For are you're sure you are willing to part with this? At least for a temporary time. It will help you find the other one. And from its parts, Maybe I can fix its dysfunction. Okay, cool. And I create life. Thank you. I go to grab it. Oh. Yeah, easily. So all right, work. I guess we got a thing to do. And he's yeah. still holding the crystal in his hand. Can you do that? Thank you. How, how does it work? Uh, I, you, you have to I, the, here, you put here. it in the, it's put, like the here, power pack. Put that in, <laughs> in, do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, there. We got it. <laughs> 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 um, you're fumbling with it, and, and as you are like trying to just figure out how to get it in, you can't quite figure out as Petunia bumps something, which knocks it over, <laughs> which slams into the back of V, knocking her off balance, which actually twists, and you notice the bottom unscrews. Sorry. Oh, cool. Pop. Oh, you figured it out. <laughs> yeah. I did. Thank thanks. And just like the, the picture, there is a lever. And as you place the crystal in the shaft on the, on the handle and hold down the lever, 
You watch the device come alive. <laughs> the umbrella begins to spin and whirl and click violently before Nim begins to step away, causing the reaction of the detector to decrease its, in its velocity. Oh, it's a it detector! It to one of your kind it is? Yes. Oh, Hopefully this will aid you. Fascinating. That is fascinating. And you're like, he clicks his eye. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh. Easy, buddy. Get a date first. All right. Um, <laughs> Nim will Dinner find first. it for you. And hopefully, you can Great. fix it. <laughs> Inspiring. And with that, he steps over to the large gear and rides it up like an escalator, and then steps off onto another one. It rotates around, and you see him disappear. If you did not know how to navigate this, you could easily be crushed, uh, chopped in half, smushed, but he just rides it all the way up to wherever his uh, invention station is. <laughs> and you look at just and Twinkie's just like, I know. <laughs> Thank you. Of course. Uh, just let uh, whatever uh, the Temple of God can do for you, let us know. Uh, this is just fascinating. That this is just inspiring. Yeah. It really, like, it blew something up. What that is a thing? incredible. What was well, the thing that ran by downstairs? The, the ostrich head uh, thing? I, I had to check my notes, but I think it's called a hippostrich. Hippostrich. <laughs> but I'm not sure. That's well, not my are it's they, on are they, how, are, Do they make good pets? Uh, I don't no, know. Probably. absolutely I not. Uh, well, really have to it, about the first person who finished it got trampled to death, um, and then oh, the apprentice strange. is horribly mauled and probably will never Sir, walk Sir, thank again. you for your time. We're leaving now. Yeah, yes. let's go. <laughs> uh, are, are you sure? I can show you. No, that's I'll be quite back. all right. I'll be back. <laughs> yeah, come back. Pressing matters. Um, I mean, I have a mimic. Great, let's go. And I wish you didn't. But he's cuddly. <laughs> Thank you so much, Twiggy. <laughs> and I'll shut the door behind I'll us. Do my best to maneuver around. Later. All right. So uh, like you guys Santa. make your way back out into the sea ward. It change is a higher low. Low. Yeah, you successfully navigate without bumping anything over. <laughs> oh, wow. She just does this the whole time. Good. <laughs> Could have been a campaign under. <laughs> okay, so. I say we retrace our steps backwards and see if we can pick yep. up where this thing That's left a good off. Plan. You make your way out into the sea ward under a full moon. Oh shit, it's late. It's pretty oh. well. Let's, oh, let's I wish we could have looked at that through the telescope. The only it's thing, this thing puts off light every time we turn it on, right? No, no not that it, 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 spins. it spins, it clicks, it whirls, it's, it's loud. But as you click it right now, it spins okay. a little bit but it's barely active Thank and then the further you, you walk away even though you're holding the lever down no it stops moving okay. okay we should just go back the way we came try it if we don't get anything the entire way back we're going to need to wait until we have light so we can take a look around good point okay. we'll go to that point um, where we lost um, this trail what i touch my shield and cast a light spell the because of the full moon like the all the streets oh. uh, although low light it's low light yeah. everywhere. And you you're in the sea ward, and there's working lampposts. Oh, that's right. Well, oh, yeah. 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 Don't sweat it. Yeah. This isn't no, the dock ward. It, it's it's the, well, actually, I wouldn't have done it. Though. This isn't the forest. <laughs> right, so or the dock ward. So, yeah, go back the way we came, and we just have see a carriage if we driver see. drive a little bit slow and see if we keep the thing up. Sure. And I'll do that. I'll pull right. over a carriage driver and have them right, drive I'll, us back the way we came. How much will that cost me? Silver? Um. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I want to uh, silver. Go I slow. Can do that. I got it. Okay. Appreciate it, though. This is kind of an awkward question. How much money do you have on you right now? Me? Yes. Oh, I have uh, about ten gold. Okay, okay. Never mind then. What? Are you gonna ask me for money, boss? I was gonna ask her to pay it. She's got a lot. Boss, do you need doesn't. money? We I don't mind. always need money. I don't. How much I, money do you I have? Need money. Um. I pull out a How pouch and point? start rifling through it a little bit. About 106 gold. Why do you yeah. have yeah. that much? Um, Why as you, not you spent it on potions, which is something we need desperately. <laughs> How much do you have, Voss? I have 27 gold, which is not what, what she has. You have only 27 gold? Yes. I've been spending it on things we need. See, I only spend it on cheap things. And as you're holding this down, you start to see it slowly start spinning again. It's moving. Shit. Driver, stop. And he stops. You're still in the sea ward. Mm -hmm. uh, you've made your way onto uh, Delzerin Street. You're at the corner of Delzerin and Flint Street. 
It's, it's, it's doing the thing. I, I've been just holding it down the whole time. Yeah, that's why I said, as you're holding yeah, it down, you're it, all talking. Lean, lean <laughs> okay, you lean. Have I have Dr. Jones kill the carriage in the ground. I step outside. Oh my god. I walk <laughs> around. Where am I? <laughs> so Hold on. I was actually going to have Savar do aerial okay. looking for that so feathered hat made of red. Got it. Whatever. Okay. Um, He's going to make a perception check for Savar. Yeah. Uh, are you warging? Mm -mm. Okay. Are you warging? Um, I'm safely in, sitting in the carriage, so yeah, sure. Cool, you can use your perception if you would like okay. to look around. Oh, it's the same as his tactic. 11. Okay. Uh, perception? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, 14. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. You see the very nicely paved cobblestone streets um, and the very nice villas and mansion-style houses uh, but there seems to be no mechanical uh, beings. I will say it's not whirring violently. It is just slowly spinning right now. Okay. Yep. And as you kind of spin on the corner of Del, uh, of Del Zorin and Flint Street, uh, you kind of do a, just a 360 turn, and you notice as it's pointing north, which is straight down Flint Street, it spins, and as you turn, it stops. And then, it, so. We need to go down Flint Street. All right, let's do it. Uh, carriage driver. Let's, let's go down Flint, please. Okay. He takes the turn. You make your way down. It starts to spin a little bit more violently. Just uh, doing more. And then it stops spinning violently. Uh, you continue oops. on. Stop. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Uh, I think we're good here. I, I think we should hop out. Yeah. Let's yeah. yeah. well, stop. Let's hop out. I get out. I get out of the carriage. Yeah. We'll, all, we'll kind of pile out of the carriage. I walk back to okay. where it was violently. Spinning. Un un and, and pop out. Um, so as as you go and it starts to spin more, um, you walk up to a temple. Oh no! And um, uh, on Flint Street, and there's a long narrow staircase that ascends towards uh, an ivory tower, um, and there's a burning lamp lit pathway. Religion? Religion. Sure, you can. Mm. Uh, Eleven. Eleven. Oh, shit. Twelve. Twelve. I okay. I hate you! <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Binley, as you're looking around, you instantly notice... <laughs> I'm sorry. It's always happening. It's always <laughs> by one! I thought you were going to do that. It's always by it's one. True. But in this instant, as you were at... Mistress Temple, oh, you, <laughs> it makes sense why she became yeah, that yep. like you, see, you instantly see the symbol of a baby blue eight-pointed star. And then also along the pathway and pillars, there is um, seven uh, blue stars encircling a red mist where the... <laughs> Which is known the, as the weave. Yep. Yeah. And uh, that's where <laughs> the torches are. Um, she is known as the creator of the weave, which imbues uh, Toro with its miracles and mysteries of magic. Lady of mysteries known to work alongside Azuf, Akma, Melil, and Gon, although she has a rivalry with Gon and a distaste to his lack of restraint. That, that is all you guys know. Okay. So As I see the holy symbol, I pull out. <laughs> I look through mine and find it and pull it out yeah. and okay. put it yep. on. You know, yeah. Are you still. Like, no, okay. It kind of does hurt. No, I, I okay. am worked and I, I will walk with them. Okay. okay. Shall we? Let's go. I'm holding how my, my doodad. How fast is the doodad spinning? <laughs> uh, it seems to be spinning pretty faster fast as you walk towards the temple. Oh god. Go doodad, go. Turn, turn it off. Uh, okay. It makes too much noise. Uh, and they may know why we're here. That's fair. We have to right. assume it's here no matter what. Yep. Okay. You know, I really should have. As you walk up, you notice that there are signs of impacts along koi ponds replenished oh, by no. small waterfalls that cascade off the side of the tower. The impacts are now the koi ponds. Yep. But you can see from the cracks of the earth that's around it, it wasn't scooped to make this pond. Mm -hmm. They just took a bad thing and they made it. They filled craters. Yep. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, these, are, right. these aren't new things. No. no. Um, I start looking for this thing. Okay. Um, you come to... I mean, we're one of the group stealth of imposters. Yeah. Just given that. Yeah. I'm pretty good at it. Are you? I am too. Yeah. Oh, I'm really good I'm at small. it. I'm small. I'm hard to see. 
That is a fair point. I'm sometimes good I'm at it. I'm surprisingly but dexterous well. for being clumsy. <laughs> I've been good at it before. Okay. I've been bad at it before. Eventually you Nobody's come to a it. woman um, that is known as the Mistress of Mistra, um, named Syndra Moonflower. Ooh. Yes. Uh, you all inquire? Um, you can actually, history. Uh, someone can roll history <laughs> if you. Yeah, you what you got? I have a plus four. <laughs> I have a plus five. I've got a three. Go. You too. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Natural twin. Oh, Ooh. I got a 19. What is up with so that one up? I don't know. <laughs> um, you actually have studied this because of your religion, because of your devotion to Mistra. And you recognize this name. Um, Syndra Moonflower is the daughter of Mora the Unwanted Silverhand and Prince Lamriel Moonflower of Evermeet. She is the granddaughter of Lariel Silverhand, the open lord of Waterdeep. Oh, shit. And because you got a natural 20, Mara is named the Unwanted because there was a time where Laurel had a daughter with someone that she does not know. Like, it's stricken from the books. You know that she was married uh, to Kelvin, but there's this other daughter that was created, and it's completely just redacted. So many things to tell. Got freaky with the wrong person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, I will, whoever is near me, I will give them the heads up on the fact that this is the granddaughter of the Open Lord. Boss, did you catch that? Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, you make your way. She is dressed in very, very fine robes of blues and silvers, all that seem to have some type of star motif. Um, and there is a single red sash that mm -hmm. hangs over her body that seems to have two flames embroidered into it. I think everybody's got their holy symbols out, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't have one. Or lack thereof. Or people yeah. who have holy symbols. Which one are uh, you wearing? The one for this place, of okay. course. <laughs> it's easy to match. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Just oh, making sure, it. Benny. Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what friends? You're um, my only friends. <laughs> <laughs> So as you um, as you come in, uh, come up, uh, she greets you. Uh, Greetings. Is what can we do for you at this hour at the House of Wonder? Um, well, this is a bit awkward to explain, but you know uh, it's important. You know, uh, we come from uh, the Spears Trollskull in Trollskull Alley, uh, way out from here. Um, North Ward. Thank you. There was an explosion uh, on our street. Um, We've been following all of the clues we've gotten as to it being a mechanical f creature with a kind of a mustache and like a, a red hat, hat with, a with a feather. feather. And we have a device that allows us to track this thing. I and take, sorry, I take you to the side real mm -hmm. quick. Um, and we tracked it here. You know, pause for that. Yeah, I would have noticed, and I'm familiar with your being familiar. You have a familiar, correct? And I would know that? Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah. She's made it known. Um, we're outside of this place right now, correct? Yeah. I guess yeah, we could have stepped can, outside. Yeah, or mind. stepped into uh, an, a section. This is a pretty large tower. Can you send your familiar through the walls down to the other side so we can't damage him? Uh, if we can find an uh, area to get through, possibly, but it's, it's too small that it's possible. I look for a crack. OK, make an investigation. Where are you trying to send it? Um, just. Kind of into the building. May I also as well? Sure. Yeah, sure. Mm, that was well. Uh, 20, 30, 20. 21. Nice. Hey. <laughs> hey. All of these <laughs> the one ups. Yeah. I know, right? Um, <laughs> yeah. Much like this building is riddled with impacts, really there, are, there are several cracks in the walls. Um, I block view. Okay. Uh, I'll just sort of kind of, you know, look as unassuming as I can and then you can make a stealth roll stealth. for Dr. Jones. Sure. Sure, sure. sure. I almost started singing it. That would be a 21. Nice. Wow. Okay. The the um, high priestess doesn't seem to notice this. As nice. she's talking to her. Okay. And cool. it goes into the walls and um, if you are warging 
you're looking through your familiar. Um, right as of right now, there's mm -hmm. just going through a small tunnels and cracks and stuff like that, I'm digging its way through. Okay. All right, um, I'm gonna say to him, um, I can look through his eyes, but I won't be able to see. Um, I'm going to just hold on to your cloak while I look. I kind of turn around a little bit, trying to make it inconspicuous by like a hider in my cloak if I can. Hide who in your cloak? I think me. Petunia? You can make uh, a, stealth check. a stealth check because you are a halfling. Yep. I would like while they're talking right. to just kind of look around Another for 21. any signs of scuffs. Like it's maybe a large oh, mechanic. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Well, I roll well through the room. I'm good at helping him. <laughs> oh, could I roll with advantage? No. no. She Damn. is she is basically comatose right now. No, you're right. That's yep. why you can't make the roll. 17. Can't speak, though. Can't I? I just can't hear him. You can speak. Him. You cannot hear I or cannot speak. cannot hear him, yeah. but I can hear yep. So you being accident prone and now being blind and deaf may not go so well. Um, I say... <laughs> found him! <laughs> uh, I say... <laughs> squeeze my hand twice if someone is coming. Understood. Okay, and you want to look around, make a perception check? Take it. Yes. Mm, it kind of landed on another die. But can you see the top number? Yeah, but it's tilted. Hmm. Uh, it's going to be perception. That's a seven. Mm -hmm. okay. Notice. You're just kind of overtaken with all, all of the magic that's in here. Everything seems to be illuminated through means that um, are very colorful and mm -hmm. inspiring. It seems to have no mechanical source. Mm -hmm. uh, there's definitely this overwhelming yeah. residual feeling of magic um, throughout the place. It is definitely touched by the weave itself. I'm going to kind of shift over to Harold and V. Well, Harold is in mid-conversation. Oh, yeah. that's right. <laughs> v, 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 we are, this version is our tenant. Yeah. It was her, didn't mm -hmm. you ask? Or possibly. <laughs> or it was the man, because so. I don't know what that means. <laughs> What was the last thing you said to her, Harold? <laughs> I don't know. No, I, I, I got it. I, got it. <laughs> I see. So you're saying that there was a const something of made of metal with a foppishly dressed hat. I think like a well-dressed golem made of metal. And wood. With a Van Dyke. You said wood, Van Dyke. Yeah, and wood. I see. I think it's like... Can Did they describe the color, like mm, gold or something? You said that you have a device that tracks... Yes, we yeah. can show... And Turn it on. It is on. And it's it's kind of going, it's not going crazy, but like as you start to move it in a direction, it starts to go more intense. I guess I have to go this way. Interesting. A moment, please. Insight? Yeah, I was literally. Does she seem threatened? I want to insight, uh, insight but y'all yeah. already did yeah. it. Yeah. No. <laughs> I just like, I was waiting for whatever oh, her response yeah. was to insight it. <laughs> I don't care what it is. 21. Nice. Uh, oh, 23. <laughs> Heck yeah! Uh, by one. Curiosity, cool. Intrigue, okay. So but legitimately, wow, that's neat. Not, not like mm -hmm. hiding anything or nervous. Nope, nope. nope. Okay. Uh, oh. She motions and an acolyte um, comes over and she whispers and it nods and uh, it t uh, goes um, in the same direction that your mouse was. So you see someone go. What do you do? Just follow. Okay, so you scurry along, through. following, uh, and you lead them. They kind of go back a hallway and into a, uh, a side room. And as it... Um, your mouse sees this first as you're walking in. Uh, bright light starts flashing uh, down this hallway as your eyes start to adjust. And you start to see like, arcs of electricity everywhere. Um, as you come in, there's a room filled with people in robes, all just casting. Uh, all the words become this cacophony of uh, unintelligible uh, you know, things that you can't make out because everybody's speaking at the same time, um, as they all seem to be casting up into the air, practicing uh, a lightning lure cantrip. And in there, you see a humanoid figure dressed in a very fine robe you can't quite see, but it seems to have four arms. Mm. This bodes well. Um, this bodes well. <laughs> and then you, you watch as this, um, 
acolyte comes and talks to a someone in more priestly garb, um, whispers, it nods, points to the being with four arms, and you watch as it follows, it steps away and follows the acolyte out as your mouse kind of, go ahead and give me a stealth check for your mouse. Um, Natural 20. Wow! Yes! The real it life is, Petunia. It, 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 it is, it, yeah, it scurries away, and then you, do you follow it as they go back? Okay, and you follow it as it leads back to the main precision where you guys are. Um, and do you guys all watch as stepping out um, from the side door is this acolyte with a very tall, slender, dressed in elegant robes. The hood, hood pulled up, and the face is completely mirrored. There are no features, there are nothing, it's just a straight mirror, and you see four arms kind of like this. One, one is like this, and then the other mm, one yep. is, yep. Um, and your machine is going insane. Oh no. I would have described I turn it. I turn it off, off while okay. I was watching okay. it. it and I put it in my pocket, play uh, astral. Uh, it, and it's wearing um, white and blue robes. Does not match the description of what I pulled at all. No, nope. it is like so silver, even. silver and brass, um, and you don't see any like wood parts to this one. Okay, I will offer my hand to shake to it. And it shakes your hand. Hi, Harold Hobbleton. And it uh, <laughs> seems to move its hand in a way, and right. it seems, but no sound comes out. Uh, do I know sign language or thieves can't or anything like that? Uh, you do not know thieves can't, um, and you do not know sign language. Hmm. This you can pick up that it is saying something. You that knows thieves can't knows that it is doing sign language and is not doing anything that is thieves can't do. Gotcha. So, um, what are you, you going to say? Um, I was turning to uh, Syndra. Mm -hmm. um, do they speak? No. We are actually trying to see if it can be taught magic. <clears throat> so, I am going to use uh, channel divinity, mm -hmm. knowledge of the ages, okay. to speak sign language. That's okay. Dang. Super Dope. legit. <laughs> that, yeah, <laughs> like, that's not the dopest <laughs> shit I've ever heard. I have to do that was that's option. pretty awesome. Holy crap. Wow. That's okay. So cool. Do it. Word. Um, I'm going to walk up you won't. and you begin won't. signing. Say, greetings. My name is Lore Seeker Seisha Valispod. It says, hello. I am a chosen of Mistra. It's a pleasure to meet you. Are, are you aware of the situation that brings us here? I am not. There was an attack this evening in the North Ward and we had reports that a mechanical humanoid was seen at the site of the explosion. And he had a, a hat with a feather in it. He was made of wood and we think gold and a filigree Van Dyke style mustache. I do not know of what you speak. I spend I my time here practicing yeah. the art of the weave. Have you ever met any others of your kind? There are others. May I ask where you came from? Are you signing this? Yes. Yes. He was gifted by the Black Staff Tower. Oh. Very well. I, I ask because the other one we've met this evening was apparently from a gentleman of Luskin. I am not sure. I believe it was donated by a man to the tower. I do not know any of the details, though, as it was gifted to me by the Black Staff itself. I understand. Okay. Um, do you know of any other gifts like this? I do not. Because it's the second temple tonight that has had a chosen of a god. I believe it says chosen as it is not a true chosen. What was it saying? Did it not get one. 
Oh, that's Ooh. right. He just said, I am a chosen minister. Where are you at, by the way? I'm still hiding your coat, I think, unless you walked over. No, I mean, mouse. Oh, um, I wanted to, well, I followed them back, and then I actually wanted to go back and eavesdrop on the people in the room. Okay. Okay. Uh, it is a cacophony Just in of case. Just yeah, no, case. no, of course. It's literally just a cacophony okay. of magic. Okay. Yeah, it is you watching it over a while. You see people continuously practicing and stuff like that. You understand that this is um, either a form of prayer or practice, possibly both. Yep. Have you had success in learning the wheel? I have not. Unfortunately, due to an its, its inability to speak, it cannot harness the wheel, I believe. But we are still looking into it. Hey, we actually, you know one that can make a voice box? It's true. We can introduce you. It is the um, the chosen of Gond. Of course. <coughs> you know, it's just an idea. I will speak with the high priest of this place. Uh, let them know that we sent that we sent you guys. I will do so. Cool. And you are uh, here at Hobbiton. Lord Seeker Sage of Alaspide. Minley Garlandodo. She, she nods to you and eyes linger a little bit. The weave touches you. You feel your pain. As you see it flows through you very strongly. Well, um, I am, yeah. More than that, Minley Garlandodo. Mister herself smiles upon you. Thank you. I sort of just shine my, <laughs> my necklace real quick and I'm like, uh, I think uh, the last thing we should probably check with our friend is if to just let him know to let us know if we run into anything else. If, or if you happen to think of anything that could be useful in helping us track down where this Construct. It says nimble right. Nimble right? Mm -hmm. Nimble right? Mm hmm. That's what it signs. Okay. That is what they are called. Nimble right. Ah, thank you. If you happen it to. It's not its name. But what it is. What it is. It if you happen right. to think of anything that might help us track down this nimble right, it would be most appreciated. We are the, the residents of Spirits of Troll Skull in the north ward. Uh, it signs, it would be my pleasure um, as I wish to touch the weave of Mistra. Thank you for your information, even if it comes from Gond. <laughs> there are worse things. <laughs> yes. All right, I think we're good to keep looking. Mm -hmm. yeah. Good luck on your journey. Thank you. Thank you for all your help. Good meeting. Bye. <laughs> I squeeze your hand twice. All right, I will. Got it. Yep. Pop out. You wait Pop for out. your. Oh. Wait for Doctor Jones to come back, mm -hmm. or do you just? Oh, well, no. um, no, I'll pop out and he'll he'll catch up. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You can bamf him out too. Yeah. Just so you can what? Bamf him out. Oh, just like. Yeah. Yep. yep. And he comes out and. Yeah. You don't have to recast familiar. You can just oh, take him in sure, and out. Sure, that works too. Yep. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yep. yep. Right. Pop. Pops on her shoulder. Wants to get yep. outside. Right. Oh, it was the best. There's a lot of magic going on back there. <laughs> okay, so yeah. you didn't see anything weird in the back? No, they were just using it to cast magic. Okay. Or trying to, I think. There was a lot of magic going on. Well, that makes sense. So now we're back at square one. Um, at we least we know what they're called. We head back using the item. We yeah. still have the device, and if we did learn something. We did. If this is what it takes to power them, it'd have to be someplace indoors, preferably protected. Hmm. We should try temples. Not a bad idea. Let's get back on the trail then. Yep. We need to make sure that these things aren't being sent to every temple in the city. I don't think that, I, I it think you They're all coming from a person, potentially, a single well, person a from Luskin. But they mentioned that there was only four of them, right? In the parade. That might be just the only four that the guy has. And we're halfway done. Well, we're down two. Also, you said they did get it from the Blackstaff guy. Right. Do they have the authority on these things, perhaps? They could be, yeah. I they think it's the next step. And also, it could have just been where this man from Luskin assumed to be the most magical Mistra touch I don't place. Know. How late is it? It's late. It's getting, yeah. Yeah, it is, yeah. 
you're starting, even though you have not had a uh, mechanically hard day, you've had an emotionally. A, um, emotionally, and it's been a full day for you guys. You guys opened, you, this was your grand opening. You got up early, you set up everything. You had a full day, despite your stats saying otherwise. Look, we've got the tool. <laughs> we made it progress. Let's go home. I agree. Mm-hmm. Let's go check on Salazar. Okay. You staying with us tonight? Huh? Yeah, I'm if you want to stay with us. With us tonight. Um, you guys, I, I, can sh- I can show you Earl. Oh, okay. Earl is so adorable. You're going to love Earl. Okay. He said on my hand. <laughs> uh, Who is Earl? I, brief- I briefly think, because I've never heard of Earl, that you're talking about. No. We can go comfortably at me. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's good. Uh, he named it. Yeah. It's he sort of named himself. He's. It speaks. I mean, as best it can. I mean, it calls. It, ca- it calls all the time. Go on, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Okay, so um, you guys get a new carriage. So this one waited for a second and then just left. Um, another silver. Okay, I'll uh, pay it. To get to Troll Skull, uh, the direct path, you do not pass any other things that activate. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah. And... Uh, you make your way back to Trollskull Manor. Long Salazar rest. Salazar is still uh, resting. Ren- Renair has um, grabbed a few things from upstairs and made him a small little like cot pallet next mm-hmm. to the fire because you told him not to move him from the fire. Mm-hmm. Um, and, mm-hmm. he's, and you, Renair is actually fallen asleep in the chair. Aww. I will uh, take a pillow of some kind and kind of just eh, slip it behind that. his head. Mm-hmm. We need that helmet. No. Yeah. I'm gonna just kind of walk over though. and stare at Salazar and sort of stroke his head for a few minutes. It's charred and crispy. Um, Char eyes can be drawn. Yes, uh, Renair uh, oh. got them home. Uh, um, the there is some watch still in the alley, but it is greatly diminished. They're mainly focused around quarantining the crime scene off so that it can be further investigated. But there's no more guards. There's no more Griffin Riders. Oh, the guys aren't there anymore. No, no. Thank God. Um, I think I'm gonna ask them if they'll take me on as an apprentice. Do it. I mean, that'd be a terrible idea. The the detective, not detectives. Oh. Good night. Fine. I'm I'm gonna. I want to go over to Salazar and see what the tech bots get from him. Oh. Oh God! Oh God. Inesia, if he's seen anything. I'm a bad Well, person. I can't talk, so I can only assume. Yeah. So he's probably he listened to you. the bot. Baby, um, he hears us talking and has thoughts about it. Maybe. Uh, you, I'll yeah. I'll say something. I'll be like, hey, Salazar. It's Petunia. Um, you don't get words as a response. Uh, you kind of get a visual display, a replay of what happened. Oh. Him dancing uh, to the sound of the halflings with Dacron as um, the crowd is all around and then there's a big flash of light as he huddles over Dacron to, towards the ground. And then that just kind of replays. Encode thoughts. <laughs> okay. I want to save that. Got it. Um, she'll, she'll kind of like look over him and then you guys smell new books kind of around the area and she'll take you'll see the familiar ribbon come out of her head and she'll put it in her book what is he reaching how did you know that's what i was doing because you've done this in front of us before he was replaying what happened have you seen anything Oh, Petunia, I'm sorry. So I'm going to keep seeing if I can pick anything out from it. Because you have that spell and because that's what you did, you are able to do that if you so would like to do that I'm later spend on. I'm time studying it, yeah. Awesome. Okay. Um, do you go upstairs and meet Earl and Carl? Oh, I, actually, I would love to have a conversation like with you. Carl. Oh, he'll, he'll get there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I will take you upstairs. I'll be like, be quiet, okay? Earl, it's a little finicky, okay? I'm gonna open the door, and I'm gonna come in 
very slowly. I'm gonna first. I'm gonna look and see how the otter has been treated by these things. Um, it Aww. seems uh, to be knocked over and pecked at a little bit. Mm -hmm. There seems to be a couple of balding spots. <laughs> um, that just makes it more charming. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but the, overall, they seem to kind of left it alone right. now. Yeah. It's just like, what is this other creature that's in my space? Eh. Oh, it's not real. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> I will set up the toy yep. bird. I will set up the otter. <laughs> and then I will motion. I'll be like, Earl, Earl, you in here, buddy? Is that one Earl? No, no, no. No? Listen, uh -oh. listen. Earl, you here? Earl! There he is. These are my roommates. They they were here first. Technically, I'm more like their roommates. Um, as you as you as you picked up and put it, uh, you actually hear. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> I don't think it's me that should be ashamed right now. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we're drifting apart. Maybe it's time to see other people. Oh! <laughs> kind of looks at the other. Looks at, looks at Harold. It's an investment. <laughs> I come in to check out this otter because I miss this boy. What's up, otter? How you doing? No, not an uh, not an otter pun. <laughs> this is what it does. This is what it pays for. Wait, this is what it, it pays did for. you do an otter pun? No, it said oh, no. It, it did. did. You yeah. said not an otter pun. I didn't give a pun. Did I? Did you say a pun? No, it said not an otter pun. You didn't say a pun. It's saying pun. Okay, hey. Choose one of the otters. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. How long did you guys sit and think of otter puns? Uh, I, I'm pretty sure they are. The wonderful Google world otter puns. They're, they're using <laughs> the Library of Alexandria for this. Yes. Okay. Yeah, right. um, I was just showing Petunia. Off the top of my head, I know mm -hmm. otter puns like that. Yeah, come Look, on. you otter be ashamed of yourself. Yeah, you did that one. So I, uh, I was showing Petunia Earl. Earl! Yeah, he's a cool guy. Earl! They're all so pretty. I don't Carl! Know birds. Carl, you're up there too? Oh, those two. You got you can't leave them alone. They'll they'll drink themselves silly. It's ridiculous. <laughs> um I had a question for you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome to stick around. I, I What's up? You don't exactly strike me as the no offense. The adventuring type. I'm not. <laughs> so why are you going around with us? Because you asked for my help and you've done nothing but be kind to me. And I'm gonna go. this is also oh, okay. my home. <laughs> well, not my home, obviously. I have to okay, I will. Hostile <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's Alley, it's, it's, you know, I I have a connection to it, too. You ought to know better. Give him, give him that elbow nudge, uh, eyebrow waggle as you leave. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This, I hardly consider this, well, I suppose it is a little bit of an adventurous activity. But we haven't left the city. Yeah, well, you really don't have to leave the city to find adventure here. Yeah. Well, I just, it just surprised me. I mean, no offense. It just... Not taken. When I see you, I don't exactly see somebody like, yeah, let's go save the alley. But, well, uh, I have some skills that can be useful to the investigation and to the cause, and I like Salazar, too. He was really nice. He is really nice. I'm gonna do the best I can to see if I can't find something in what I was able to uh, see. You want some help? Uh, I don't know if I can. I don't know if you can. Uh, that's a good question for the DMs, actually. You, I no, I, I don't think you could. I, I'll play accompanying music. <laughs> yes. Like, help keep me awake. <laughs> sure. Or maybe we should get some rest and sleep later. Well, no, it goes away in eight hours. I say, I go ahead. Do it soon. Go ahead and knock it out. Maybe in, I'll hang out and I'll feed. You want to feed Earl? Sure. I reach in my bag and I pull out some peanuts. I take oh. your hand. I put them in and I say, a little bit at a time, throw it out. <laughs> Maybe more than one. <laughs> <laughs> As you go to feed the animals, they swoop down. They swoop down, and at about that moment is when you bump into the toy <laughs> bird and the thing, and it crashes and they <laughs> flutter. <laughs> I pull it back up. It's okay. They, they're tough. They can handle it. Okay. And you're tougher than I thought, too. Oh. Is anybody else <laughs> doing anything tonight? Um, <laughs> just something small. Stab someone. Uh, 
as Vinley, because Vinley left when they started talking. Mm -hmm. She's going to start getting ready for bed and have Savard just standing there, and she's going to look at him and be like, did you hear that, Savard? I'm smiled on by a goddess. You're in the presence of the chosen of Ness, Mistra, me, the witch of Nessaqua. <laughs> My familiar. Fucking <laughs> 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 nerd. <laughs> Can I like walk by her room and hear this and be like, hmm? Yeah, no. <laughs> and What's I'm this? going to cast Ultra Self on myself to have my long hair again and look at myself in the mirror. And I'm going to have one of my family's ball gowns on. I'm going to be looking at myself like, oh. <laughs> 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 And then I'm going to go to bed. Uh, are you oh, casting MG. the same spell on Savard for tonight? Yes. Yes, okay. I figured you would be. Um, Can I tell people about the thing I told you now? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> really appreciate that. It's kind of been killing me. <laughs> I, uh, I wait an appropriate amount of time, and I go back to Carol's room, and I knock on the door. I answer the door. Hey. Oh, hey, you're back. Are y'all? Let's go. Come in. Okay, cool. Can I just want to talk to you about something. Yeah, what's up? So Sasha like gave me some anything. interesting info. You and uh... Did she teach you how to do sign language? Because I'm dying to know. No. Shit. Uh, I think that was a trick. Oh. I don't think she knows sign language. She definitely does. She was just speaking it. Signing it. Well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she was just signing it. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Okay, anyways, um... That's not the point. The point is, is uh, apparently there's a rumor going around the rumor mill of town saying that my dad involved a daughter, has involved in his appearance. <laughs> what? <laughs> there's a rumor going around that Sasha learned from a Miss Southern Bale lady that um my dad has something to do with Osvaldo's disappearance. Which I can't make sense of because he's he, the one who wanted me was to the marry one, yes, him. Yes, he kept it pushing it. It wasn't my idea. So. <laughs> so, let me get, so let me get this straight. <laughs> yeah. Your dad after fighting that long and that hard to get you married to this guy, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. made him disappear. Apparently, and I can't make sense of it, uh, Seisha brought up maybe he needed Osvaldo for something else, which doesn't make any sense to me, because the only use he had for him was me marrying him for the connection to the castle answers, but also maybe, uh, and he knew that if I wanted out of the, Engagement, a kidnapping is not necessary. So maybe he found out something about him, learned something, heard him from, I don't. How are you gonna look into this? I don't know. Uh, basically, I think uh, we need, we might need to investigate. We need to tell his parents. Not, it's a rumor. We don't know for sure. I think we should try to, investigate and find out what happened to him. I'm on board. Which is probably something we should have done a long time ago, but we didn't have any leads until now. Not a whole lot of motivation back then either. I'm just saying, we weren't it, crazy about the guy. It kind of seemed like he ran off at first. This all makes a lot more sense now. Well, I mean, that's probably just what I hope. But it, do it still doesn't make sense. He's the <laughs> one who wanted me to marry him. Why would he make him disappear? We have to figure out some sort of motive. We'll figure something out. The only thing I can think of is Osvaldo found out something my dad did not want him to know. Makes sense. But what and how is what we need to figure out right now. And actually, no, we need to figure out if there even is a connection to my dad at all. Otherwise, this could just lead nowhere. And until then, let's focus on finding this robot, and then that's going to be the next thing we figure out. That and the stone. Okay. Jesus. We have too much to do. I know. We're busy. Busy saving the world all the time. Bullshit. Come on. <laughs> well, thanks for telling me. 
I would like to go find Voss. Oh God. Voss is by Salazar. One thing I would have done is, if we have it, um, I would like to ask Leaf for a drink of whiskey if we've got it. Fair sure enough. We do. We do. I asked him for a shot of whiskey, guys. Yep, fire butt whiskey. <laughs> Spice butt. Spice, Spice butt. butt. <laughs> It's so not. It is a really car. Right no, no, it's yeah. not. <laughs> Just a reference. Hey. Hey. You all right? No. What's going on? Like Do you in have your to head? Ask? No, like in your head. I don't understand. We've been in this city maybe a grand total of 21 days and every shit pile, every faction, everything is dumping on top of us. And I don't understand why. Well, I mean, we... We've done nothing to deserve this, and yet here we are. We have sought some of it out. You sought some of it out. Okay, that was kind of cold. It was. Look, Sasha, in the heat of the moment, we make decisions that we'll regret later on. I'm guilty as much of this as anyone. But I worry. I worry that your short-sighted kindness will lead to something more evil than I could ever produce. Here is something and I know I have many lessons to learn on friendship and humanity and many of the things your father tried to instill in me, but here's something I want you to learn. There are times when the kindest thing you can do is to be pragmatic. Yeah, I've noticed. The path you're going down right now may lead you into martyrdom, and that'd be great for the bards to write stories about, but not so great for the rest of us. I don't know what's going to come of this deal you made with the Hatch, but it's hard for me to say this, fair liker. But if there ever comes a time where I have to choose between you or the girl, I would choose you. And you might hate me for that, but that's what I do. Why? She's innocent. You both are. It's not a matter of morality. It's my choice. I don't like it. I don't like most of the decisions I have to make on a daily basis, but... Then why do you make them? Because someone has to. But why do you choose the path you do, Voss? Every day is, is a clean slate, but you make choices that keep putting you back on that path. The same thing over and over. And you talk about how you hate it, but you keep doing it. You remember your seventh birthday? Yes. You remember? You remember? Yeah. What was it like? Pretty mm -hmm. much like all the others. Was your mother around at this point? No, she she was gone mm -hmm. the night I was born. Describe it some more. My birthday? Yeah. I woke up, did the usual housework, read for a while. Um, what did your father do? What did he do? Yeah. Nothing really. I mean, birthdays weren't really a big deal. Really? Yeah. I would have thought, given your demeanor, there would have been cake and games and no. all manner of crap. What games? I don't know. What do monks? I what read. Games do monasteries play? I mean, I I get a book that was on a high shelf at my birthday. I think when I was up until the time I was ten. <laughs> And then I just started climbing the shelves to get them myself. Mm. But it was never that big a deal. Mm. Why? 
it was your seventh birthday. My first kill. At seven? That seven. Survival. On your birthday? Well, we didn't really celebrate birthdays much on the ship either. I do remember my captain walking down into the bridge where his body lay, his throat cut open, covered in blood. And I'll never forget the way he laughed and laughed. And then he broke both my arms. And then he said, you'll have to pile the bodies he did when you get better. My point is that I've been living this life all my life. There are parts of it I can change, but that's instilled in there's no going back from it. And all I can do is direct it. You, you have so much potential to be anything. Your story is yet to be written. But mine, we're close to the end. Gus, I don't have control over my story any more than you do. No. Yours, as I said, is just in the beginning of it. And mm -hmm. every day is not a clean slate. You carry everything you do on to the next. But you make the choices what you do with that. That's all I'm saying. You're choosing to use the things you've learned to help us, which is good. Mm -hmm. And it's noble. Mm -hmm. but I don't feel like you find joy in it no not really so why keep doing it why not do something that brings you happiness and not a rush of adrenaline I mean real genuine happiness Pure rush of adrenaline is the only thing that's ever brought me happiness. Well? So, we'll continue on. We'll get all this business sorted out. We'll deal with this robot, this hag, our debt to Mert, all of that. Keep in mind, shut up, <laughs> but keep in mind, in the same way that you keep saying, you're my boss, you're my Seisha, and I will always prioritize you first, even when you hate me. funny because it's mutual. <laughs> well, <laughs> stop it. <laughs> Never. All right. He's going to be okay. It will. He got here fast. He survived. I'm sure he got injured doing something stupidly heroic. Probably. He's like you. Only sweeter. <laughs> they said it couldn't be done. <laughs> <laughs> Science found a way. So just do me one favor. Maybe. The next time you're mad at me, maybe look at me. Fair Ooh, enough. Happy couple. <laughs> I'll admit though, it's hard for me to judge others based on their mistakes, even if I could say something that might be helpful. I just it hurts when you won't even look at me. It makes it feel like I've done 
makes me feel like I've disappointed you to the extent that you want nothing to do with me. Well, that will never be true. But I want you to promise me one thing. Mm -hmm. There will come a time in the future that I think you and I will part ways. Where our paths will be too different for us to travel the same road down. And when that happens, you will accept it and move on. I can't promise that. Well, when I can't promise, I'll always keep my mind around you. Okay. All right. Good night, Tasia. Good night, boss. Yeah. And I'm going to head upstairs, go into my tower, curl up a biblio, and go to sleep. There is a on the window outside. Open the window. An origami swan <laughs> flies in. <sighs> Should I read it out loud? Or just read it? It's you. I say. Dearest daughter, you sound like you have already learned and experienced so much, and I wish I could say that the world beyond these walls is not one of hardships, but of happiness. Sadly, that would be a lie. You must learn all the world has to offer in order to truly understand the knowledge Ogma has blessed upon it. Not all stories have happy endings. I sent you into the darkness to be a guiding light of truth and knowledge. There is no better way to learn than to experience life firsthand. Learn from those mistakes and lessons and gain the knowledge they teach you each day. I'm so happy you've met a bard and have already made so many friends. I knew you would. Now learn from Voss so he will be learning from you. He has much to learn in this life, and I know you will show him what it truly means to learn and understand life's lessons. Master Han and Belson say hello, and are glad you are doing well. Actually, Belson said, good, she hasn't been killed yet. But you knew that's his way of saying he cares and misses you. As for your concerns, I am not surprised to learn that you are born of the gods. You were a blessing to my life, and it is no surprise that blessing runs through your veins. You are touched by Agma, and the blood of the upper plains runs through you like the light in a dark tunnel. Do not feel burdened by this, and you should feel no different than any other person in this world. You are my very own angel, and I love you so much, daughter. With all my love, father. Aww. They didn't send the book. How are we going to send the book? <laughs> <laughs> you just rip every page out, fold it up into the swan. Hey, hey, priorities. <laughs> uh, it's not a question gonna, of where he grips it. We're going to go to Petunia Yay, as so you spend the night replaying that scene over and over again. It takes a little while for you to get past the emotional aspect as you start focusing on details. Um, from that, you start noticing the things in the background. As he's spinning with Dacron, you start taking account of the people, trying to focus on where you know the uh, explosion happened right before it did. And you see a small figure in a cloak, obscured, and running toward Salazar from past him in the direction that you know the Troll Skull Manor to be. And from behind him, you see two figures. Um, two figures. One that has uh, black and white um, salt and pepper hair, spindly. He seems to have somewhat of a charming face. You recognize him? Yes. 
the instant we recognize them, and as they start to get closer, you see the gnome start to pull a dagger as he realizes he's being followed. Um, and then there's a third figure that starts to walk into the frame when there's a flash of light. That is it. It seemed as it seems as you were watching this, all of them had no idea this was going to happen. But you see four, as the flash of light happened, four beads, uh, con like singular uh, singularize themselves on right above the gnomish figure. Oh Jesus! Confirming the suspicions that he definitely was the target. You know that. There were at least two, possibly third, people going after him, and then another, whoever this mechanical being works for, is the one that attacked all of them with a singular target. Okay. All right, she will take note of all of that. Okay. And then um, she'll wait for people to sleep to, like, to, to, to warn them to get their information. Yep. It's the night. Something special happens. Oh, boy. It is the very end of Kythorn. Yes, it is. Yes. So, at the end of every month, you all are going to make money from your tavern. Hey, hey we are. Oh, boy. How Ooh. much did well, we you make might lose money. this month? Or you might lose money. Yeah. Uh, I need someone, you all can discuss who it is, to roll a D100 for the profits of this month. Since you were only open for eight days, uh, percentiles. Yes, oh, yeah. two percentiles. Yeah. I vote. I vote. Uh, boss. It's your one hundred sided die, Logan. God. <laughs> I actually have Roll one. So yeah, you know what? I want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So since you were only open for eight days, you will be adding eight to your roll. Uh, from here on out, we will do this roll at the I end of every it. month, so you will have a plus thirty to your roll oh. in the future. But since you also have everything already paid for for the beginning for this situation, you cannot, you will not be owing money for right. this situation. You can only either break even or profit. You have to add cool. 15 gold to whatever it is. Yes. Cool. Do big it. money, big money, no money, no money, stop. Uh, 59. 59. Is, is that with the 8 added? Oh, uh, no. Uh, 67. 67. 68. Oh, plus, eight. plus eight. I'm sorry. No. Yep. Yeah, not nine. Nope. Mm -hmm. Plus 15. Uh, all right. So you made profit within those 10 days. Nice. Possibly because of uh, how much business uh, Mert brought in and the grand opening. Uh, you made a total. So you covered all of your maintenance costs for Heck those yeah. eight days. Yep. Nice. Right. And you earned a total of 10 gold. Plus the, plus the 15, making it a total of 25 gold. Yeet that we. <laughs> um. And then we give. <laughs> uh, we give Mert what percent? Was it five? Um, it or is. Or no, it was. It was 35% of profits. Yeah. So, so it'd be 35% of the 25. Yeah. Well, whatever you wanted to calculate that uh, later on. Round um, down, round down. Yes. <laughs> it is rounded down. Got it. It is in your favor. Um, actually, uh, if it is a percentile, that actually goes to silver. So. So does that mean you just make, you make five gold each? You do not make a lot, but it, it was profit. Eight. No, no I know, but we split it amongst ourselves. Well, it's five gold we, each if it's Should 25. we not split it? Should we put it towards our bills? So we're going to give him 8.75. Uh, Leaf suggested that it goes to the upgrades that you guys want for yeah. the tavern. So all your profits, instead of being split, it, split, Leaf suggested that you just bank those until you can pay for. Right. An I upgrade. agree with that. Maybe right, 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 something right. like uh, secret entrance and exit in the basement. In the basement. Secret entrance and exit in the basement. Okay. So do we long rest? Everybody long rest. Everybody. Long rest. Everybody. Yes. And in the morning, I believe Petunia has you. Petunia has yeah. information. Yeah. Does you, I guess you get I'm sorry I keep singing. Breakfast. I don't know why I, I keep doing that. I am going to package that. up and send off the um, 8.75 gold to Mert. Okay. Easy to summon a carrier to, that mm -hmm. does just that. Okay. Great. Cool. All right, so um, around, I guess, the breakfast table or somewhere, um, Petunia will 
kind of make sure everyone's down and go One of the tavern tables. Yeah, one of the tavern tables. And so, um, so I was looking over the uh, memory a while last night, and um, so I saw the the gnome and the two figures that we had discovered their bodies um, in the image. It happens to be that Salazar caught a glimpse of it, of them coming their way. The gnome was um, walking by himself, and then when he realized that he was being followed by the two men behind him, I noticed he was going for his dagger, but then I saw the, the fire beads fall and flash, so I don't think any of them knew that was happening, so I think we can rule them out as suspects. So Please. multiple people were after him. Possibly. Just three separate parties. So at least three people were after this gnome. Holy crap, whatever I, he had is really valuable I have and an important. Idea. What if it was? I wonder if it was the stone. A piece of it. Harold. Well, yes. I'm actually really glad now Renar never got it because then he'd be kidnapped again or dead at, or dead at this point. Do you like him? Can you not like, like him? Like him? Like can him? Can you not? I agree. Him? Let's discuss, table that discussion for another time. What's up? Um, you can make an intelligence, just a base intelligence roll, trying to connect some dots. Come on, come on, come on, man. Come on. <laughs> no, not, not the, not, this is not the roll. <laughs> Int. Oh, dump oh, stat. It's a, new, it's a long rest. I can. Yes, you can. Uh, a raw ass Tim. You can take my 15 that I just rolled. Ah! Uh, <laughs> what was the other ones you rolled? The 10. Uh, okay, yeah, I'll take the 15. Okay, the 15. Uh, the wow, thank the stone you, Bruno. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking about the stone gets those gears working, knowing the burden that you have on your shoulders, knowing the place that you went to find out information, knowing that you talked to the butcher, you run to the trash, you pull out a piece of paper, and a description of a thin man with salt and pepper hair, with a charming face, uh, and beating eyes. I recognize eyes. that from. What's the butcher? Shit, that's the no. guy. That was the guy that, was that my he connection. was told to talk yep. to. It was not stone. the guy that stood up. It was, one of, it was the guy that had the obvious right. tattoo on his forearm. Who is dead as hell now. Yes, okay. and you have a name. Uh... I do. Could you write that shit down? I did. All right. <laughs> now you can change it to my dead guy. My <laughs> dead guy. Uh, it's not. Wait, maybe I didn't put his name down. Uh, I thought I could do that to that guy. I wasn't there though. Don't mind me. Did, did my fifteen give me the name? Yeah. All right. Uh, well, you, it's written on the uh, the butcher paper. Oh, cool. So what's the name? Bashek. Uh, Bashek. I immediately relay all that. Holy crap! As you look it up, uh, open, since it's right in front of you again, it says Beshek, mid-aged human male, salt and pepper, shaggy hair, lean figure, charming face, darting black eyes, set something within their sockets, got hired for a job to turn the tides for the Zen men entirely, supposedly, supposedly a lead on an item. Y you were right! I think it has to do with the stone! I think it has something to do with the stone. What, why? why? What, would, why? what would make you think I that? I show everybody the note. I'm like, this is what the butcher told me when he said he was when I, I said I was looking for a connection, some kind of link. Oh. That guy, that guy in the street, was my connection. Do you think that you have a name? They have the stone. Bashek. Bashek. And it's okay. like he was hired for a job to turn the tides for the. Well, not the stone. My dead guy. The job. <laughs> it, on the paper it says he was hired for a job. Uh, it does, right? Yeah, it says yeah. hired for a job to turn the tides for the Zen men, which you know to be the Zentarum. Right. Getting the stone I, from the gnome. I've got an idea. What? They got the stone. Do you want to come they, with me to go case. talk to those guys? Which guys? And ask about an apprenticeship? Oh. Because I bet what? they could do some checking and find out where that dude lived. And then they would eventually find out what he had this device, and then they would probably take it from us. They or they, well, they wouldn't know. You would know. Because you spend a lot of time doing. As soon as this, like, you would know if they got that information, y'all would be cut off. That's exactly what I. Yeah, we oh. can't. We can't oh. trust them with that information because the the moment that they find out, and especially if they find a part of that stone, they're gonna take that stone, which is a death sentence for everybody here. Oh. Um, Mama Ue has been talking to me recently because I've shown interest after you mentioned it the other day. Um, talking to the dead. She's, I've showed interest in learning what she did in the bar that night, and I'm wondering if we can talk to Bashek. Do we even have Bashek's 
body. Probably not. Uh, no, I don't know. We're probably going to need a mop need to get most of it back. Before. We talked to whatever was in the house before without anything on the table except for a candle. Can yep. a seance be performed on a crowded street, though? I think we're close enough. Perhaps. Do we know how to do that? And can we pair for it? I think we can pair for it. I don't know how to do it yet. I just, all I've done is showed interest in doing it. We Above need to. Right there's, there's, oh. What was the place that um, Dariel took me that had all of the um, records? We couldn't the Zor Star. The Zor Star. Yeah, that is the Scriber's Guild. Yeah. And they can write letters and things like that. Right, and they had <laughs> records, didn't they? Like uh, genealogy and all that kind of stuff? Mm, there, mm. there are, there's record writers. They are not keeper of oh, records. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. Right. And, the and most records of like lineage and stuff is for nobles. Right. None of the common people have that. Yeah, but we have a noble. It's true. We do. <laughs> Me meaning into their family. Yes. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Whatever the case, if we're looking for the stone, we know that machine probably has it then. Yeah, or at least it knows where it is. No, it was a no, person no, no. that he saw it from pick him up. Then? Yeah. It was a person that they saw pick it up. Cloaked figure. So they said cloaked figure. Yeah. Person. Oh, that's true. It was cloaked. Oh, yeah. It could have been. But they didn't mention a hat. There was smoke. The hood could have been pulled up. If it has anything to do, we know that these events are linked now. I say we continue what we were doing yesterday. I agree. We I know agree. the temples have machines. Perhaps. I, I have a bad idea. What, what is what? it? We are really good with bad ideas. Perhaps. I love it. Hey, share your idea, but nobody get excited Perhaps. about that. Jacqueline may have seen oh, something that talk. Salazar didn't. Should we say that one more time? Perhaps you Jacqueline want saw to something. look at Jacqueline's thoughts. I don't want to make him relive that, though. Let's. But I, I doubt he stopped thinking about it. Let's table that for now. Can you but wait? Can you pull the thought from his head so he doesn't dwell on it? I can't. I, I can't erase it from his mind. Um. But like the way you I pull it out from your I, head. I can't do it to other people. It has to be from my own thoughts. Okay. Too Let's, much I say that's an excellent plan B. Yeah. What's I our agree. plan A? To keep doing what we were doing yesterday. Try to figure out what people around. might have another one. Let's go to the font of knowledge. The thought? If I was we going to do them. something with one of these. Yeah, I'll get the next one. Yeah. I'm hoping that the beads will grow back. I've heard of okay. a way to find someone Pink, if you pink, have pink, their possession. Right, yay. Oh, really? That mm -hmm. it's a scry? black staff. You've done you've done scry. that before. Well, no, I was able to track him from his sword. I it's not we already have this. Oh. I just knew what his sword looked like, so I thought about it and was able to. All right, wait. Let's Could you use the power source in in the thing yeah. to find another one? I think it would direct me to Nim. Why don't no, we do it this? Wouldn't, it would, it would, it, no, it would go wherever the item went. I have to follow the, I would have to, you would have to take the we, item for me to track about, you. What about, what about, is, I mean, did we ever recover Sally? No. Yes, we did. Well, but she's. Well, she threw some water on her. That's, that's not how, again. that's not how pottery, pottery works. You said. Look, my dude, I don't know how magic works. You said you could identify someone by something they had held. Okay. Correct. <laughs> There's some uh, magic water find on someone? it. Sure, someone no, can cook that up, yeah? I believe that's a. Oh, I could try to cook it, but apparently my cooking is terrible. What? Okay, okay. Like okay. It's the under. Guess what I've got? It's pretty advanced stuff. Okay. Here's something we know. You just mentioned that the Black Staff may have an ability to identify items. We know that these things came from the Black Staff. That's power. the next step. That's the next step. You go to the Black Staff, I'm going to swing by the font, and then come find you guys. Um, just yeah, to just, check if they've just, got one. Just so you know, the black staff and the font are like right across the street. Yeah, from each other. I know. Okay, okay. Just Wait, so you're telling me that you can animate clay, but you can't make pottery back into clay? Not without smashing it, grinding it into more mud. Yeah, why not do that? Because it, it's he's gonna have to come back and remake her. Well, I'm done with my bacon. Let's go hit the black Isn't staff. Agreed. Come back? Wait, how was your breakfast? Uh, go ahead and roll an advantage because Javier will help you. Yes, yes he will. Thank you, Hod. Okay, I just rolled two thirteens. <laughs> uh, 
Um, Hang on. <laughs> it's a B minus breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's going to be. Minus. I get to add, so that's a 15. 15? Yeah, that's a pretty good breakfast. All right. I mean, it's not like the, it's not the best you've had, but it's it's better. It's her best you've had. Hey, Thank God I've become so accustomed to burnt bacon. I love it's the not crunchiness burnt at all. now. That's the only part. I'm imagining it's the only part. Let's that is go. Bad. This is a pretty good one. You're just saying only the bacon is burnt. Okay. Everything else Everything is great. Everything else is fine. Yep. Basically. <laughs> This is, you love I love bear bacon. Food. It's the best. I actually <laughs> I do too. All right, so we head out. Um, Finley, we're moving in. But I know that wasn't her intentions. So take the lead on this. I think I know I know a student of abjuration who could probably point us in the right direction to someone, Excellent. maybe not staff member, but someone powerful. Place your hands to do with the letter to read. All right, I'll do this on the Yeah, letter. I had abjuration once. I had to take pills for like two weeks. What? I don't <laughs> that's think that's... That's the opposite that's... of what that is. Oh, sorry. I'm happy. Wagon well, carriage. All right. <laughs> yep. Are you Not doing anything on the ride? Um, I gave reading this, to but I also say... I would suggest reading yeah. the ride. Yeah. Wee-woo. Okay. Wee-woo, wee-woo. <laughs> <laughs> As you get closer, <laughs> we woo, we woo. <laughs> it's just standing there, standing menacingly. Anyway, <laughs> it's looking at me. I can't even right now. Wow. Okay. Uh, <laughs> right behind you, SpongeBob. <laughs> As you make your way into the into Castle, like through the market into Not Castle Ward, thing. it starts to spin. Wee! Uh. Is it getting Sorry. stronger as we're going further? It is. As you're going Heck oh. Yeah, I don't want to walk right now. Doing your stop, go, turn, do whatnot, you eventually make your way down into the. Street of Sk- of Silks. Yep. Um, Just past the market. And on to Siren Lane. Siren You're not Lane. at the Blackstaff Tower, but you see a dry stone stacked building with visible texture created, created from uneven stones. Fire red curtains hang in every window. <gasps> Is this the red light district? <laughs> There's a sign that hangs that says the Smiling Siren. Well, this isn't, I don't think this is a temple. And it's spinning. No. It's spinning a lot, guys. Depends on who you ask. I'll spin back again. Just, just for um, just in case. Hey. Go okay. on, on ahead. As you walk in, you see interior walls covered by elaborate, realistic, life-size paintings and sculptures of nymphs, dryads, satyrs, and other magically, mischievously sexual beings, all it. illuminated by auburn floating lights. My dad would love this place. <laughs> so did y'all all go in, or did you no, just send the mouse in? just send the mouse oh. in. I thought we were all going in. Did you just walk in? Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. so you send the so mouse, the mouse in? in. They all go no, in. you send the mouse in. All right, I'm going to scope it out, and then she just walks in. I had no idea yep. you yep. went to scope it out. Yeah. I just was like, all right, we're going. I turn off the machine. So you and Boss standing back going, yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> then everyone, and then you see is like you're looking up all and you the girls see everyone go, else walking Yeah, like, in. We abs- like I absolutely the mouse do stops not hear and you. watches them walk by like what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Welcome to my world. <laughs> the entrance, the entrance has a golden water basin with a pure white marbled Aphrodite-like nude figure playfully covering herself. In the basin is a pile of coins, mostly <laughs> coppers and silvers, but you also notice a few gold and platinum. And uh, there's actually one that is in the shape of a moon. <gasps> Don't steal the money out of the wishing well. Um, How many people are in this place? Wow. Seisha. Yes. Uh, Go ahead and make a religion roll. I was about to ask. Uh, it's a 11. 11? Okay. The only thing you can get is that this is Sune. Goddess of Love and Beauty, oh, it's also a known as house. Lady Firehair. She is depicted as many different races of every skin tone, but her beauty is always breathtaking. Her hair is always fiery red, typically depicted to extend the full length of her body. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, that makes sense. And as Basically, you enter, worship. 
Seisha. Yes. You immediately feel and see everyone's eyes upon you. Oh. I look around. I pull out the <laughs> necklace. Uh, the necklace that you pull out actually looks almost like a rose, but what it is is its hair that's not like that, but God. like a flower, like a carnation yeah. uh, in its shape, but it's hair that's in spirals um, and uh, of, of ruby red, and in the center is a uh, white face um, okay. woman. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Um, it literally all eyes are on you. All and it's almost as if the music has stopped as you enter. Sweet. I'm gonna use this opportunity to swim back around further in. Okay. Hi. I'm going to use this opportunity to attempt to steal. <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> we just got here. Um, Why are you like this? I know what that moon is. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not the time. <laughs> that thing's valuable. There's a time and a place. Yeah. This is it not is. it. Yeah. It's, I need money so badly. <laughs> <laughs> I just need it. You got any more of that money? Um, well, hold on. Before I, before I make this attempt, how many people are in this room? Um, Four million. There's a good, this is a fest hall. This Damn is very it. similar yeah, no. to the Jade Dancer. Okay. They all seem crap. to be kind of distracted if you want to take this opportunity. Mm. Fuck it. Yep. <laughs> all right. Oh my God. Can Fuck we it. notice him doing this? Uh, yeah, it'll be your passive. Yeah. Because uh, you don't know that he's doing this. Yeah, my so. passive is 13. Mm -hmm. so, so if we'll he see beats how that, well if he beats you, you may be able to stop me, but we'll see. Like 15. That's a natural one. No. Best plants in the water. What it is, is every, you. Everyone has their eyes upon you, and you stick your hand into the water and place your hand uh, around one of the most valuable, like, not most valuable things, but most valuable coins you've had your hand on, at least in a very, very long time. Oh, yeah. And with that, <laughs> you all hear a swoosh, and you see the water turn black. Oop, 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 oop. You know, if he gets his hand cut off, maybe he'll spot. learn his lesson. Mm. Uh, it's, uh, there you go. Oh, God. I'm gonna oh, be moving what are we dealing with now? Something. Five. All of a sudden, you begin to convulse. What? <laughs> as you begin to have a seizure. I'm just going to lay on hands. And you continue to shake. And you have disadvantage on dex checks, dex saves, and attack rolls that use this thing. You lay on hands. Yes. What are you doing? Uh, ten points. Ten points. Just healing. I'm not. Um, five to heal, five to remove disease or um, poison. Okay. Uh, the first five seems to do nothing. The Kay. second, you see his body stop and shake. <laughs> <laughs> Slip. <laughs> uh huh. You okay? Uh, yeah. After Dave made all this, I'm gonna like try to walk mm. past them and try mm -hmm. to smooth v things over. V is just what do you do with the coin? Do you leave it? At boss. Hmm? Do you leave it? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> the magic demon of the fountain has made it clear. <laughs> That's my money! <laughs> it's it's money. Or you're stealing from a god! Uh, <laughs> either way, it's not pleasant, yeah. so... <laughs> I, uh, oh, that's... I need da, 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 da. to... Like, oh. you... You'll have to yeah. excuse my uh, clumsy yeah. friends. Uh, uh, my please. name's Harold Hovelton. <laughs> I'm looking for a construct. And as you say that, uh, you're looking for a, a on um, stage. Oh God, is a beautifully crafted feminine figure of white polished porcelain with bright brass joints under structure behind the shifting porcelain form. The face is crafted to be especially alluring and is framed by a vibrant red-haired waist. How long does this? Oh, nimble right. Right. Uh. uh. Hi. Oh. Um. Would it be possible? What's your name? I'm Lore Seeker Seisha Valispard. Um, and as you're speaking to this consort or escort, yeah. um, a uh, curvy red-headed dwarven woman walks up. And she goes, hi. Hi. Your friend? Yeah. On behalf of you being blessed by her beauty, I will allow you to... Let him leave. Understood. Bye, Bill. See you, Bill. That was improvement in slip, but. 
I'm gonna wait outside. I wait outside. All right. Oh Make sure if his face out of trouble. I'll walk uh, out and sit down next to him and like, oh, I'll be back. That was so valuable. And then she'll war again. Yep. And all right, all right. So, yeah, you can uh, hear and see all of this. Um, <laughs> oh, you guys. Is, what brings you to uh, the Smiling Sire? We were actually tracking um, Nimble, right? Like, the absolutely exquisite one. Oh, on uh, yes, right we now. call her Sunin. Sunin? Sunin. Sunin. Yes. She's uh, beautiful. And it's a play on words for the goddess and the fact that it is a nimble right. Mm -hmm. How, how did you come across her? I bought it. Was it perhaps from a man from Luskin? Um, no. At least not that I know of. His oh. name was uh, Captain. Captain. Starting with a Z. Zord, I think. Captain Zord. Uh, runs the Sea Maidens Fair, I believe it's in town. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, that has started, hasn't it? Yeah, I got it last time. They were uh, selling some during the, uh, the twin parades. Yeah. All right. Um. She has definitely been worth the money. Is. She doesn't seem to get tired, and the rest of the male and female escorts can focus on specific requests. Is there anything we can do for you? Ew. And I walk out. I, <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Yeah. Ew. I was actually hoping to speak with her when she's finished her performance. She does not speak. Does she sign? No. She just dances. Oh. I think it's pretty clear. Can I use knowledge of the ages to learn interpretive dance? <laughs> <laughs> sure. Yep. No, you no, use it. No, you use no, it. No, no, no. You said it. No. <laughs> you sure you want to know what she's saying right now? <laughs> I think I already do. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's looks, pretty obvious with that pole. It, it, it sounds about the same as when you translate bird speech. <laughs> Let's fuck! Let's fuck. <laughs> He's saying, girls! Yeah, that's what I thought too. All right. Oh my God. I, I see. Um, what was. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, Captain Zord. What ship was he captain of? Did you. I believe there's three. There's three of them. Mm -hmm. Oh, so he's an admiral. Commodore. Commodore. Third admiral. He's very he's, um, a Commodore. I got paid in more than money, and it was very nice. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so glad I'm not here. Um, this is a beautiful establishment, by the way. Oh, sorry. I paid him more than more than money. Oh. I just felt like I got paid. <laughs> uh, really? What, what did you pay with? What, do we really have to like leave right away? Can we? Can we, can uh, we pick uh, she time? instantly <laughs> picks up that your demeanor is so innocent. She's like. Although you are blessed by her beauty, I do not think this is the place for you. You know, I'm blessed by beauty as well. I'm just throwing that out there. I'm really beautiful. Would you like to spend some time? Later. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> and he's like, come on, we better go. You okay? I will be. Okay. Well, thank you so much for your time and for your patience. And, I'm sorry, what was your name? Okay. Uh, my name is Sanchel Darkstone. It was a pleasure to meet you, Sanchel Darkstone. But you can call me Mother Mistress. Mm. <laughs> no, I will not. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, don't, don't. Uh, as, you're, as you're going to leave, one of the... Thank you, Mother Mistress. The <laughs> escort <laughs> just slaps you on your ass and caresses your cheek. Mm, baby, I still got it. As I'm walking out the door. Do, do, do you know her? I, I, I will. <laughs> when when Petunia wards out of the out of mouth, she'll turn to Voss and go, "Let's talk about reading the room." <laughs> I did read the room. That's why I thought I could steal that. Uh, Clearly not. 
While she was still in Warwick, I came out and <laughs> saw that she was in Warwick with her boss. I would have tried to do it. So. Thank you. I know. Who throws that in a well? I don't oh, even know on the way is. out, I'm going to toss a gold in. Expensive. Okay. Well, clearly they protected it yeah. from yeah. people. Well, everywhere. clearly I didn't know that. Um, yeah, that's probably why they want to punish people as for you're, steal. Uh, as you're passing, mm -hmm. you toss a gold, someone else tosses a platinum piece. Okay. And um, you see the basin glow like a golden light as they walk past. Hmm. Arcana? Uh, sure, you can make an arcana check. Oh, guess who's not there to one-up me? <laughs> Natural one. No, it is not. That's going to be a 22. Judging by what happened to Voss, and judging by what happened to Voss and... Seriously? No, I rolled a 14. Okay. <laughs> judging by what happened to Voss and yeah. this person, mm -hmm. it seems that... A blessing of some sort. Yeah, a blessing Or a curse. Sort. Right. Yep. Okay. Depending on what you do mm -hmm. and how much you talk. Got it. All right, so. So we're leaving, all right? Yeah. Okay. Not. She was very nice. Yeah, Her made a friend. I did. I want to go. Okay, where to from here? That's um, three. The, um, if we don't know, that four was just black an staff. idea. Yeah. But they're all temples. And that is true. Sea Maiden's yeah. Fair is here. Mm hmm? hmm? Sea Maiden's Fair is here. Let's hit it. Founder's Day. Oh, that's right. I'm supposed to go to the carnival with Gary L. What? What? I'm going to the carnival on the boat with her. And you didn't tell us? I just remembered. That's cool. Okay. I it, I just talked to her earlier in the week. And she thinks she scares me. She scares all she's of really us. She's really nice when you get to know her. And she wants something from you? <laughs> she made me lost in a maze. What? She made you lost in a maze. Yeah. <laughs> so where do we need to go to from here? Agreed. That building. Okay. Let's huh? go. To ya. Mm -hmm. <gasps> it is time for you to make delivery. Yes, sir. I'll be there soon. You okay? What? Oh. Has to work. Do you though? I mean, if you know, if you ever needed another job. I mean, you're kind of stuck with us. You're one of us. <laughs> I mean, you kind of live. I mean, anyone, anyone object? No. As, as you've assisted us in this endeavor, if we do get gold out of this, we'll gladly give you a share of it as well. Because the BFGs share with the BFGs. Oh sure. my God. Why does Voss have any money? <laughs> Pity. <laughs> I, could, I could have had more. Uh, Petunia, uh, the offering of working at the tavern, although sounds great. You have no idea how to do anything in there. <laughs> I don't think you want me carrying around fragile plates. And oh, yeah, no, that's a good I point. I mean, we Things. have a whole library. I mean, that's Wait. like me cooking. You don't want me around... No, run the were library with me! Books? Come run the library Petunia, with me, you it would be amazing! Right I may have knocked over several bookshelves in my lifetime How? before. How? Petunia. You're Petunia. so small. Petunia. I'm not light, though. Imagine, imagine the library we could curate together. I can certainly help you with it. Okay. Her destiny seems to lie elsewhere for now. Petunia has her Well, whole if your life. destiny ever changes its mind, I'd be happy to have you back. And like I said, we'll give you a portion of the proceeds we find here. You've been very useful. That's very kind. Uh, I hope we can get to the bottom of this soon. I'll try and see what I can do in the meantime with anything I might be able to mm -hmm. find out. Perhaps Brunchuk knows something I don't think he does, but maybe he knows someone who knows something. We'll get, we'll get justice yourselves. If you see something, say something. <laughs> <laughs> That's a thing we're working on. This see something, say something. Of thing. course. Yeah, we, we think it's a, we think it's gonna catch on. So it has it's really her idea. Mm -hmm. It's pretty great. And suddenly, yeah. I want a drink. I don't think well, people are going to do that. I suppose. It's I kind of want one too. Do you all take her back to the alley, or do you let her go on your own, and you guys continue on towards 
You wanted, you were headed towards the Black Staff? Are you going to continue I mean, on that mission? Do you have new information? I would continue heading to the Black Staff. Yeah, okay. I could, I could um, take a carriage. Okay. Yeah. I'll pay for her carriage, though. Noted. You don't have to. I'm doing it. Uh, silver and three copper. Okay. Yep. Um, Keep the device out, I guess. Thank you for joining us, Miss Petunia Potts. Uh, you guys make yourself uh, make your way to the Black Staff ta uh, Tower. This is the first time everyone but Vinley has come here, and you, as you approach this, although short tower with these foreboding walls, um, it's more so the foreboding feeling of being watched as you start to get closer and closer and closer to this tower. There are no windows, there are no doors. It's this looming tower that you constantly feel like you're being watched. This place this gives me the heebie-jeebies. You work here? Study? Yeah. I taught some kids the other day while we were just not doing anything. Some people are fit for magic, but I couldn't say that. Why? Wouldn't it be good to be honest with them so that they don't waste their life? Mm-hmm. Well. I mean, they're smart enough to do it. They're just not going to. Be good. They're not going to be the black staff, if you know what I mean. Oh, OK. Sure. This place is creepy as fuck. I know, right? Yeah. Better than the other place. You're up. What, the font? What other place? Oh, really it's did that. Oh, simple. Yeah. No, 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 Real no, simple. Okay. It's nice. It's really and nice. I'm going to put my hand. OK, you put your hand up against the wall. And what do you do? Oh, I still have I bleed on it! <laughs> Sorry! <Okay. laughs> well, Seisha, <laughs> that's an interesting turn of it's character choice. Uh, as bleed. Uh, as Vinley's picking it out, you are all in a courtyard um, surrounded by these imposing black walls. You walk through a gate that seemed to be uh, iron sculpted staves and wands and stuff like that. There are a couple of other obvious wizard types. There's a garden um, to, the, to the right. That seems to... Do I see Alina standing anywhere outside? Uh, you do not see your purple-haired friend. Uh, I will jump the first level spell slot into the door. No? Okay, it's spend a spell slot. Uh, you see a symbol glow on the back of Vinley's hand, and as the door opens, we're going to end tonight's session there. Uh. Yay! That was a good fun! That was a good fun? <laughs> that was a good fun! <laughs> Alrighty. And also something fun we're doing tonight is we're going to do some, as long as y'all are all okay with it, behind the scenes stream on my channel for us here. Uh, what? Okay. Yeah. That Wait. I'm doing on my phone. Sure. Sounds okay. good. Oh, also. And y'all uh, gonna raid me, so you're all coming with. <laughs> uh, so uh, people that came in later that started hearing rumors and stuff like that, we just wanted to let you know we will be at Dragon Con. We, we will, don't have we all. Will, the, we will have a live show at Dragon Con. Yes. We don't have all the details yet. Stay tuned to social medias in the next coming weeks. We, I, we promise you, as soon as we have more information, you will be the first to know. Yep. And if you're going to Gen Con, say hi. Yes, I will be there as well. I yeah. will hopefully be there. You Depending better be on there. Work. Depending on work. Yep. Chloroform says you'll be there. <laughs> okay. I will be there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I got my carry on. That's got my carry on. <laughs> Sir, is that a is that a Dustin shaped backpack? Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. Yeah. Awesome. All you right. can have your own at the merch store. Well, uh, enjoy some BTS craziness as we um, break down, and as always, be excellent to each other. And may you always roll with advantage. Good night. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what's that? Is that Turkish delight? Oh, oh it's.